All right, let's try again. Try on again. It seems fine at the minute. What the flying fuck? Uh, sorry, language. Oh my god. All right, never mind. Here we are. What's all that about? I don't know. Look, there was Lee and Root already in waiting. Even though I was running late. I swear. Here we go. So that's fine. Let me uh, kill that. Yeah, we're back. We're back. Root, thank you for bearing with. Thank you for being here nice and early, even though I wasn't nice and early. <laughs> um... I swear to God. Um, but we seem to be back. It was so weird. When I was... I, I had the, the intro was running a little bit. Uh, the starting soon screen was running for a little bit long, uh, you know, long, longer than usual. I was, I was getting my NES in gear. And it was fine. As soon as I ran the intro... Oh, to be fair, I wasn't looking at it while the intro was running. But as soon as I got to the, the chat screen, it was like... Meh. I'm like... What are you doing? What are you doing to me? Squidge, thank you for the alert, Squidge. How you doing, my dear? I hope you're well. Uh, I know you can't hang around, but firstly, one, um, your uh, cookie dough looks fucking amazing. Um, that's what that's one thing I love about you, Squidge, you know, among many other things. You, you're you willing to put that extra effort in to get a better result. When, I guess most of us are, but for, specifically in the food realm. I'm just so pathetic when it comes to uh <laughs> comes to uh food i'm just like oh quick let's be quick let's just get it in me there we go we're done forget about that um secondly don't hang around squish because we're gonna be murdering dragons today <sighs> now i would say that they're bad dragons but they're just kind of chilling doing their own thing um they're not good dragons, but they're just like wild beasts that we are just hunting them. We're literally just going to go over to them and be like, Oi! And they're like, what? You want to fight? And we're like, yeah! I want to kill them. So it's, um... So you might not want to see that, Squidge. You know, I know how you feel about dragons, so... You know, so I do apologise. Um... Yeah, pay you in hugs. <laughs> Bless you, Lee. I appreciate that. Um... So that might be good for your uh, for your mental health, but it, it's not it's not helping your current financial issues, at least. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> um, what? How, how do you uh, root? How do you make these three ingredients? I guess peanut butter is one of them. Yeah, I don't know. That sounds. I I need to. I, work smarter, not harder, right? That's what they say. <laughs> Root's got it down. I'm just like, ah, what? What even is a thing? Uh, <laughs> um, there you go. Okay, you balance it out. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I think Lee. Yeah, Lee's got. Uh, he's he's kind of not been stitched up. I don't know the full details. I don't, I don't know. It's not my place to talk about it. But um, he's um. Where he's living currently is uh, like, oh my god, uh, well, m like money is an issue. He's got to, have, he's kind of like got to found new housemates very soon, or he's got to like move out. Neither of those options are like very useful or easy to accomplish, or you know, it's just a pain, a whole pain in the ass. Um, but um, I hope you don't mind me sharing that, Lee. I, I know you're very uh. A f you know, forthright and honest guy. So I'm, you know, um, okay. You have been totally stitched up. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to like put like blame on people. <laughs> do you know what I mean? But um, but uh, root. It, you know, anything I can do for you, you just let me know. I can't. I can. I'm. I'm good at pep talks. That's like <laughs> that's just more my skill. I don't. I, I, whatever that is worth. Practical advice, not so much. Uh, bigging people up. You know, oh, you, you, you got this. You got it. Um, wow. Okay, so it's literally just egg, sugar, and peanut butter in equal amounts, and that will get you a cookie. Does that really, does that really come together and work properly? See, I think cookie, I think it needs, like, you know, it's like it needs flour and... I don't know what else you used to make butter i don't know i guess that's in the peanut butter i don't know either way 
next time I, f I have sugar and I usually have eggs. I don't usually have peanut butter though, but I suppose the next time, if I'm lucky enough to get my hands on some, it does happen occasionally, uh, I could give that a go. It's perfect. All right, okay, I'll know what I'm doing next time I'll, I'll get some. But yeah, guys, thank, thank you for bearing with me in weird technical issues. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Because uh, I woke up late today. And my um, I didn't do a restart before I started. It went live. That could be uh, that could be it. But why should I even need? You know what I mean? It was, my PC had not been on that long. I, I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you got Raven. She's notoriously stuck up drinks. <laughs> yeah, I bet. I bet some some uh, some uh, some animals can be like that, can't they? I talked to my brother's cat. I'm like, yo, what's going on? And she just ignores me. I'm like, how rude. I'm checking to see if you're all right. And you're just going to ignore me like that. Crying out loud. Uh, <laughs> uh, but guys, thank you for bearing with technical issues aside. So I didn't sleep the best last night. Not, I didn't sleep terribly. I just, it took me a bit longer to go to sleep for some reason. And then I'm like, woke up early and I was like, which usually happens. I'll wake up early or at some point during the night, I've got to pee. Uh, I don't know if everybody have to do that. I don't know. Uh, my brother seems to as well. I don't know if you just you get older. I don't know. Um, I don't know if you remember that being a thing thing when I was younger. You sleep the whole night through. Um, but um, yeah. So then usually when I've woken up to go pee, I'm usually like back asleep within five minutes uh so not last night today i, I wasn't for whatever reason but then i did go back to sleep and then i'm just I, then i woke up late um yeah <laughs> for a dog with a bird's name <laughs> excellent excellent Rui. i respect that um you had bad stomach cramps jeez lee you all right? Is it something you ate, or is it just that uh that mental anxiety? Because I can do that. Like if I know that I've got to go do something I don't want to do, and there's like a lot of like mental pressure, you can give yourself a stomachache. Or you know, I'll try. I'm usually pretty good with that stuff, but buried. Ryan, the man himself. How are you doing, sir, Ryan? Um, yeah, what's going on here? We. <laughs> We're trying to get a stream up and running. And I think I finally succeeded. <laughs> Sorry I'm late, sir. Um, and uh, we had a bit of a technical issue at the start. Of the uh, you know, if we're going to have a tech issue, I would prefer it was at the very, very start of the stream. We can get over it. And here we are. So I'm running a bit late. But it's absolutely fine. Um, we, you know, we've got, you know, we've got six hours to do a, do a thing. Do a dragon hunting is what we're doing. Um... Yeah, yeah, Lee, yeah. I, 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 um, I get that. I wish, you know. Something I could practically do, sir. And Lee's like, oh, I can think of a few things. <laughs> um. No, I, well, Root, I'll probably, I don't know, I'll probably jibber jabber for a minute. But, uh, we've got 11. Apparently, there's 11 dragons. I don't remember where they are. I know there's three. Empire de Leon, one in the hinterlands, one in Crestwood, um, one in the Storm Coast. That's six. Uh, one in the Emerald Graves, one in the Western Approach, one in the Hissing Wastes, one in the Exalted Plains. That's ten. Missing one, but there you go. That's that's fine. You know, I, I, I've got a rough idea of where we're going. We'll, we'll, I'm sure we'll. I'll probably. Go, oh yeah, and there's one there. As we're as we're going along, um, Scotty, how you doing, Scotty? Are you well, sir? Uh, it's his favourite part. If it, Scotty, it would just be like you know. I think he's got. Scotty's got an interest in everything. Um, as in, you know, and that's. I think we've got some kind of a kinship on that level. Um, in that regard. 
but um he's got an interest in the people as well and like so he he might not be interested in a particular thing but he's interested in somebody else's interest in that not everyone kind of understands that mindset but i do um but if it were up to scotty you probably never see video games on this channel again he'd be like just talk for six hours is um and i could do that but i, I don't know i feel like i'd kind of just run out of things to say eventually um yeah cool. you of course it was you was it what were you doing to my internet god damn it scotty uh <laughs> um but yeah thank you for all being here guys i hope you're well what is going on i've noticed there's a lot of people playing silent hill recently various silent hill games i've noticed um thorman gander has been playing some silent hill uh walshy has been playing silent hill i know he's a big fan of it we've talked about it before uncle buck is currently streaming silent hill 2 uh and kinney alara is currently streaming silent hill one now i i wonder if that is partly because it's just october and it's like a good horror series to go to um and just good games in general that could be part of it it could also be the upcoming potential news of new uh silent hill games on the horizon could be part of it yeah yeah lee i don't know what that that is about um because i'm a massive fan of the series um and we've covered the first game on this channel still got another seven to go uh <laughs> we'll get to those whenever um but yeah it's, it's curious I'm, I'm glad i'm glad people are playing it um because i uh I, yeah, it's, uh you've never played one you'd like them lee i mean actually i don't know i think you like most stuff do you like horror um if you if you like horror supernatural horror that you um and you know and a survival horror video game they get a bit more you know forgiving as they go along generally speaking it's not too difficult uh or kind of awkward controls it's got those the first game it's got those awkward ps1 controls not quite as bad as the original resident evils but you know not too much improved um but there's no reason you wouldn't lo enjoy them if you like, you know, dark, dark uh, fiction. <laughs> um, um, yeah, Scotty Lee's um, Lee's kind of compared to me a crazy man he's like i'm gonna i've got to complete everything and com and do everything in order and do <laughs> be the ultimate completionist which i respect lee I, I used to be a bit more like that but in my old age i'm just like less given a damn um so yeah are you like on a real tough uh roller coaster tycoon level see i i could play roller coaster tycoon I'd play like the easy levels and be like, oh, this is fun. And as soon as it started getting too difficult, I'd be like, yeah, no, whatever. But then I get out. I never, I never grew up with it like you, Lee. So maybe there's something about that. Um, yeah, yeah. If you've done the uh, uh, the, the the original PS One uh, Resi, so you'd, you you won't have a problem. Um, right, yeah. It is far more horror. Because here's the thing, um, and people have different preferences and. My preference for Silent Hill isn't directly linked to this, but I like the horror in uh, Resident Evil series. Of course, is is scientific in nature. It is essentially a sci-fi story. It's science gone wrong. Um, simple as that. Silent Hill, on the other hand, is supernatural horror, um, which you know we could argue that there's no such thing as the supernatural everything exists within the universe therefore by definition everything is science but uh supernatural as we you know call it is science we don't understand have no explanation for and can't even like really fathom uh what what it could be it's that level of you know supernatural horror and it's far darker and far more gruesome so just be aware of that going into it uh lee but essentially it's a yeah, very you know it's very similar in in that regard but um it's taking over two years to do that or a single level 
Yeah, that's <laughs> that's the kind of thing I spend two minutes on and go, you know, whatever. Let's move on, moving on. Um. Uh, Age of Empires, that's cool. Oh, yeah, I was going to say... <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. You, you, you've streamed it, Lee, once a week, I believe. You do Roller Coaster Tycoon. Um, and you've, you've, you're you you gradually going through the whole every single level in the game. Got you, got you. Still, that's two years. I mean, bruh. Bruh, I don't, I don't know if I want to do that. But... <laughs> um, yeah, I... Uh, I, I, I had theme park as a kid, which I guess is somewhat similar to Roller Coaster Tycoon, but maybe it's not as, um, it's more like a dumbed down version. I don't really know, to be honest. Uh, they seem kind of, uh, gameplay wise, very similar to me. Um, but, uh, I like the idea of a game like that. It's just, I'm not particularly good at them. Um, but guys, yeah, there you go. That's my random rant there uh what, what anything else i need to address folks i don't know what's going on in the world anything interesting pro well there's always something interesting going on but anytime i just look at news if i go to google and just go news latest news world news it's all bad it's, it's no, no there's no i don't get good news anymore um right okay yeah yeah it's like yeah so uh theme parks are uh the baby's version i i assume that came after they were like oh this is a cool game maybe we can make our own version of this and it's a bit more straightforward and simple i don't know yeah i, I would i would struggle with it i'm sure so yeah again thank uh thank you for your patience guys uh so sorry for the delay um it is what it is um Um, sorry, just random stuff distracting me. Yeah, I'm I'm barely with it today, guys. I, but we're here. We're getting it done. Let's hope for a, a better start tomorrow. <laughs> uh, yeah, we might be completing Dragon Age Inquisition today. We just got to go beat up these dragons and then just do the final mission in the game. That's 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 it. So it was very unfortunate yesterday. I don't know what point the stream cut out. It literally died. And it was very curious as well. So I lost internet in this room. My brother was absolutely fine when I went and checked. Uh, and after a second, my laptop and my phone reconnected to the internet, but my PC did not. And I'm like, what is, what even is going on at this point? Um, I think where it cut out yesterday, I was in the, the kind of, you know, not too exciting process of trying to make some custom armor and weapons for our main dragon hunting party for like the last 20 minutes of the stream. That's not too exciting. Um, so I went ahead and after the stream died, I went and finished off that process. So we have absolute badass gear on Alana bull uh cassandra she's our tank and i um i want this sarah as our fourth um just because uh she got some particularly good gear i just wanted a ranged you know combat and just keep out of the way a little bit um we should be poised to utterly destroy any dragon we come across um in theory i don't i don't know how it's going to go but what if it doesn't go well i have let's just say i have no other recourse i have no other strategy we are as good as we are possibly going to get to take on any and all dragons so fingers crossed it all goes well red mage how you doing um yeah he was doing something he was doing something <laughs> i literally went in there in his room after in the when it cut out just to be like yo bro just because you know it's one thing if we get some lag and the stream is not doing healthy or whatever um or something cuts out for a moment or whatever but because i'd lost connection on all three devices and well fourth device if you include the xbox i don't really so it doesn't really matter if it's online um i assume oh we've had a complete cut 
out of the internet in the house. So I walked in through my brother's room, and there he is. He's playing Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> guess uh, guess it, it's very demanding what he's doing. <laughs> uh, but it is what it is. Um, but yeah, here, here we are. We should be fine. I don't know. I guess, maybe that's part of it. Maybe because um, he's hardwired into the router and I'm just on the Wi-Fi with everything. I, sh I just got to be grateful for what we do have. That, you know, for every time we have a cock up, we have a disconnect, we have like a slow connection speed, whatever it is. Particularly over the past couple of weeks, I've noticed, um, with various issues that we may or may not understand what why they occurred. 99% of the time, it we're actually perfectly fine. We're actually doing probably a better upload speed than your average streamer. So, I mean, can't really, you know, you got to take the rough with the smooth. That's what I feel. Wolf, how you doing, bro? Are you well? Um, happy uh, Wednesday to you. I just, I just got up. Yeah, I'll feel like that. Um, no, no, Scotty. No, every... <laughs> Never been hardwired into the router. Everything has been over Wi-Fi. So you see what I'm saying? That should give that should be a testament to how actually good our internet is when it's working. Um, there's no practical way for for me to hardwire the PC into the router. It would need like an Ethernet cable that's like about fifty feet long, and it would have to like snake out of my room that all the way down the hall into his room and it's like there's no there's not even any uh practical place to like stick it into a corner of the floor or you know it's it just it, it would work um but yeah they they go scott he's like what <laughs> um uh what's this red mage Metaverse avatars are finally getting legs. Did they not have legs before? Yeah, no, yeah, Lee. There you go. This is that's. Uh, I have no choice. Um, basically, it's just it is what it is. Um, my brother's got the you know there's two rooms downstairs. It's his house, so he gets the the nice, slightly larger, slightly nicer room, which is at the one at the front of the house, which is obviously that's where the internet comes directly into the house. And the, the route is like sat right there. I'm in the back room. Um, living on the Wi-Fi. Uh, so it is what it is. Um, yeah, it's not the, it's not the price, uh, Scotty. It's just, um, you know, it's just not, uh, it's not practical. Um, <laughs> get, get an extender. You should send me those, Red Mage. It's, yeah, it's literally to the practicality of like we'd have to like trim like corners of doors off uh and lay in the, the the cable and stuff it's just even if i could do it in my room and down the hall in his room at the front it'd just be very impractical it is what it is doesn't matter doesn't matter we'll make make the best of a situation don't you swain knows about this don't you swain how you doing swain um uh what's this what's this lean Oh, what? So you can hardwire your network card into a mains outlet and then have another one coming out of his mains outlet. Go And then... Wow, this is not a thing I've ever heard of. Yeah, thank you, Lee. Send me that. I'll, uh, I'll have to look into that. Weird. So you use your uh, mains electrical system in the house as... A, 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 as a as a ethernet cable random okay i never even heard of a thing i mean that's that's also a technical you know a technical uh thing you could do uh scotty but again you know you know it's, it's up to my brother do you know what i mean it's his house he's literally his house he, you know he doesn't have to do anything um particularly recently um, I can't even begin to explain the uh, amount of support he's uh, been giving me and continues to do. So I, I'm not, I'm in no position to. I don't even like asking him for stuff. Do you know what I mean? Um, 
let alone being like, yo, we should do this. And, you know, um, I'm just, you know, I'm just looking to be, and like I say, 95% of the time plus we're absolutely fine. I will take that. You know, I know like, um, I don't know how Trous has been recently, but I remember like a while back Trous was like getting real frustrated. I guess he was in a similar situation to me. He lives with his brother. His brother is hardwired into the internet and gets priority because it's his brother's house. And, uh, you know, Trous is in his room trying to run it on the Wi-Fi, I believe is a similar situation. And I believe he's like struggled with it far more than I have. So, you know what I'm saying? It's, um... I mean, just have a quick look at what uh, Lee sent me. Let's have a little look. Um, get a, a vibe of it. Um, oh, right. And it's even got... um. The the uh the adapter the plug has even got an extra plug on it, so it's not even taking up an actual plug socket because you can just stick one in. Okay. Wow. Okay. How curious. Right, oh, excellent, excellent. Uh, thank you, Lee. I'll have a little, I'll have a little ponder about that. Because there's bound, there's got, there's bound to be a plug. You know, I've got, I know, I've got a plug socket near me, and I'm sure he'd have a plug socket near him, near enough that it, you know, we suddenly this, it's not an issue. How curious! Even, even, uh, even think about it. Yeah, I don't even know that was a thing. I should maybe I should have thought about it, but I didn't because um, I'm not, obviously I'm not that smart. But <laughs> uh, thank you for the alert, Red Mage. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, you get on that Call of Duty. Um, good thinking, Lee. I'm like, yeah, I'll have to give that a go. I wonder. I assume it wouldn't be as good as a, an actual uh, LAN cable. But it's got to be better than Wi-Fi, right? Um, yeah, no, indeed. I just would, obviously I would just need two short cables, um, but I don't. I'm sure we've got those knocking around. Um, well, la di da. Okay, I'll have, I'll, I'll have a ponder about that. Yeah, very interesting. Thank you, Lee. Um, anyway, yes, I think I've jibber jabbered long enough. Uh, obviously, Scotty would, uh, you know, disagree with that. But, um, but, yeah, yeah, even if it's like, even if it's just like 10% better. And that's the thing, the actual upload and download speed is fine. It's like way perfectly fine. It's just, like I say, last night was a perfect example. It just had a moment, there's a glitch on their system where... I lost all connection, but my brother was fine. So maybe having that plugged in would actually kind of get around that because we maybe not as hardwired in as he is, but far more than we are currently. Interesting. How interesting. Okay, cool. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Lee. Um, let me have a. I'll have a little think about that. Um, I'll have a. I'll have a chat with him about it because my brother's quite smart. He knows about stuff, but uh seemingly doesn't know about these things because he would have suggested it <laughs> um and i didn't know about these things do you know what i mean so there we go uh but anyway yes um let's get into Dra inquisition we'll slap some dragons uh and then if all that goes according to plan we'll uh go and complete the game i guess we haven't done we haven't 100 the game nowhere near but there's so many like little finicky little things that are very easy to miss that is you you know I think you'd uh, need to kind of probably follow a guide if you wanted to go for hundred percent. Um, yeah. So if you've never had experience of them yourself, Lee, yeah, he, and he might have because he's like lived uh, with randos uh, in various places. 
before I moved in with him. So he might have even used them and didn't think they were so great, but I don't know. But it's, yeah, when we've been discussing it recently, do you know what I mean? He's, um, he's, he's amenable to, you know, my uh, plight, but he's like sticking like a 50 meter, 50 foot like random cable throughout the length of the house is not, and drilling holes in walls is not something he wants to do. And that's perfectly acceptable. Um, but this... He, he wouldn't have a problem with it. You know, if I'm paying for it, I'm like, here you go. Can you do me a favor? Can you plug this in one of your plug sockets and then stick a cable from it into the router? He's going to go, okay, yeah, I, I, I can do that. <laughs> He's not, he wouldn't have a problem with it. I don't see why he would. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll discuss it with him next time we'll see him. Uh, but anyway, yes, um, let's go slap some dragons and um, take it from there. But of course, you, you know, you guys uh, let me, uh, you know, let me know if there's anything you want to ask me or tell me. And we'll, uh, um, that's you know you you guys are more important than some random dragons, um, but yeah we we should, in theory, be on track to complete Inquisition uh, today. Um, I haven't heard from Legion Cage, so I assume he's not uh, prepared for the start of our Lone Wolf series, which will be on Thursdays. That's obviously tomorrow. Um, so I'm gonna I've not heard from him. I will assume that's not happening. That's not going to be started tomorrow. But we have other new games racked up which will, i will tell you all about those as and when we complete inquisition so uh let's go there we go oh my god a second i didn't even think i was speaking uh as i was uh transitioning scenes there but apparently i i caught something wrecked my audio monitor but here we go <laughs> and the cam froze and here we are <laughs> everything's a work in progress folks including ourselves seven e seven are you uh, excited about sunday oh, i am oh yeah i I'll, i will post the details properly in the conflux uh tonight hopefully uh like the schedule um yes red dwarf watch party on sunday yeah, the tie in the votes, Ryan, will be I just choose, basically. <laughs> uh, if you get a tie in the votes on, on the producers' votes on the on the uh, game list, Ryan, I will just make a decision. Um, basically, uh, could go either way. Uh, uh, yeah, what's going on? You are excited, but right now, why, why are you why, why are you miserable? Seven? Do you need me to go and? Have, have a word with anyone. Because I will. Give, give me their phone number now. Phone, well, not the phone number. I mean, that costs money. Give me their Discord name. I'll call them right now on stream. Um. <laughs> this is true. This is true. Uh, right, I think that's probably a good, good, good thing. Here we go. i will get some influence. All right, what, uh, Josephine, what are we doing with you? Okay, that's uh, At your service. that's somewhat related to uh, her own, like so, like for example, Josephine's quest line. We may not finish um, putting forward uh, Cassandra as the new divine. We may not finish that. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. Um, okay, yeah, we've got um, we've got that amulet for Cole. We, I'll wrap that mission up. So let's go give him that. And it looks like we've also got to pass uh, judgment on someone. I think it's a Samson. I mean, <laughs> just kill him. I feel. Um, oh, jeez. Me, Inquisitor. For personal interest, I have relieved Josephine, as you might expect. Knight Templar Samson, general to Corythius, traitor to the Order. The blood on his hands cannot be measured. His head is too valuable to take. Kirkwall or Lay, many would see him suffer. Can't say I'm not one of them. Um. Bless you, Seven. That's that's not good. What was it leaking? What was it leaking from? Jeez. But you've managed to fix it. See, if that was me, I'd be like, oh, I don't know what to do here. Um. 
Yeah, we'll come up with something to make him suffer. He's like the. I can make him answer for what he's done. Is irredeemable. Red Lyrium will steal your vengeance. You know what it does. Corypheus only delayed my corruption. Are you still loyal to that thing? He poisoned the Order. Used them to kill thousands. Templars have always been used. How many were left to rot like I was after the Chantry burned away their minds? Pit on it. I followed him so Templars could at least die at their best. The terrible reason. <laughs> Same lie as the Chantry. The Prophet just isn't as pretty. Um... I found your people. They believed in you, believed your cause was righteous. Not your business, Inquisitor. Your friend Maddox was so loyal, he killed himself for you. They were always going to die. I saw what Corypheus was doing. So yes, I fed them hope instead of despair. I made them believe their pain had purpose. Just like the Chantry does. <laughs> right, Commander. It ended as well as anything else I've done. No. Corypheus would kill me on sight. I'll tell your people what they want. Everything I cared about is destroyed. Um... Right, okay. Hmm, let's see if we can get out of him. Atheline, how are you doing? Um. Uh, n no, honestly, Ryan. Um. You, you, uh. D d d in the producer Discord, chuck a little, an extra vote out. Like, as in, you just discuss amongst yourselves if you want, which you prefer. I mean, it uh, doesn't matter to me. I assume they're probably both relatively short compared to certainly something like this, but, um. Um, or, I mean, if you, or we can turn it over to chat, oh, I don't know, I, I don't know if anyone else has heard of the games, but, um, up to you, Ryan. I mean, one will get played and then the other will get played, so it doesn't, I don't know, it matters too much, but, um. Ah, okay. I'll see seven. That's annoying. Uh, <laughs> buy a meth truck and then drown. <laughs> I mean, that's ba that's that's not far off what he's has happened to him, Root. But he's kind of he's brought it on himself. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. Aff, don't be, <laughs> don't be, uh, you know, you, you, you hang on to those votes. Um, that's right. Well, you know, I'll flip a coin, Ryan. I'll do. <laughs> um, <laughs> be some taste. Nate, what are you talking about, Seven? I'm your favorite streamer. That's not true, then, is it? <laughs> uh, that was very presumptuous for me to assume that. Right, okay. So, options. We can just stick him in jail. And just stick him in prison and just whatever. Exile him. Let him go free. No, we're not doing that. We we'll give him to Kirkwall because obviously he's uh, responsible for um, a lot of their plight. Um, get Cullen to question him to find out what. I don't, what at this stage, I don't know. Or Dan can only study him. It'll be a test subject. Science experiment. Although Dan can might be too nice about it. Um, favorite a lot of things are seven. Bless you. Um, <laughs> mediocre power comes <laughs> Um, we can let the viewers decide. We can have a little after we've completed this run. At that point, we can briefly discuss each option. Um, because I don't know anything about them. Uh, do maybe do a quick little research. Um, and then um, let whoever is here in chat decide. So you know, it doesn't matter. One will get played, then the other will get played. 
you know, so it doesn't matter to me which one gets played first. They both look very interesting. Um, but yeah, if you're happy with that, Ryan. Right, so we, we're definitely not exiling this. I feel like it's a waste just to stick him in jail. Why, why do I do that? Might as well kill him. But um, no, they, we want him to suffer, uh, which is terrible to say. Uh, so justice, give him to Kirkwall. Getting Cullen to question him. Or Dagna uh, to study him. We might get something out of him then, worthwhile. Um. New stream, meh. <laughs> uh. I'm gonna, let's turn him over to Dankna. Sort of that. Samson, you can still be of use to good people. What you know is less important than what you are. My Arcanus will study your resistance to Red Lyrian. Do as you will, Inquisitor. Your kind always does. <laughs> your kind. <laughs> See, does he mean mages? Or does he mean uh, elves? Or is he just like, ow, people who uh? The the only diff the only problem with the various choices you can make is um is that uh they don't really have any like actual significant impact. Okay, so we've given Samson to uh, Dagna to study. What is the outcome of that? Probably absolutely nothing. Probably never <coughs> probably never gets mentioned again. <clears throat> Do you know what I'm saying? Whereas if we gave him to Kirkwall. Probably the, you'd literally get the same result. Nothing. Stick him in uh, in jail, in prison. You'd probably be able to go down to the dungeon to go and see him and maybe get a, 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 a dialogue with him or something. But Cole, here's your amulet, you weirdo. I didn't understand the grand ball. It would have been easier if they said what they wanted. Yes. That would have made everything much simpler. The colours were pretty, though. Here you go, get this for you, buddy. I found the amulet that Solas told us about. Would you like to try it on? Yes. But not here. I like it here. We need some place that can go away if it becomes sharp. Oh, yes. The, the sharpness. What do I do with it? You found one of the amulets. <clears throat> Excellent. May I? It is simple enough. You put it on, I charge it with magic, and you should be protected. Are you ready, Cole? They can't make me a monster. Ah! What was that? Oh, for... What are you doing to the kid? Stopping blood mages from binding me like the demons at Adamant. But it didn't work. Something okay. is interfering with the enchantment. Okay. Something like Cole not being a demon? Um. Yeah. Solus, is it possible that the amulet doesn't work on Cole because he's too human? Regardless of Cole's special circumstances, he remains a spirit. Yes, a spirit who is strangely like a person. I don't matter. Just lock away the parts of me that someone else could knot together to make me follow. Focus on the amulet. Tell me what you feel. Warm, Think Mick, I do not Blanket covering. But it catches tears. I'm the wrong shape. There's uh, something. There. That way. Okay. Let's we'll go that way then. All right, kid. Get Colin and work with him on the map to figure out where you're sensing something wrong. Will you come with me? All of you? 
Yeah, sure, Cole. Sure. All right, I get it. You like spirits. Yep. But he came into this world to be a person. Let him be one. Um. Yeah, if we can, if we can do that. I care about results. I mean, I guess that's true, but yeah, yeah. The, the humanity of Varric. He may be. Varric may be the best character um, in the series, in essence. If I see a way to protect Cole without taking away whatever he is, I'll use it. But Cole clearly needs our help. I'm not saying we do nothing. But that ritual of theirs only works on demons, right? This is not some fanciful story, child of the stone. No. We cannot change our nature by wishing. You, you sure? Think. However we deal with the problem, our next step is to track down whatever is interfering with the enchantment. Okay, I guess we're doing that. Oh, okay, we're heading out into the uh, wilderness here. Hinterlands? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> Root, yeah, I mean... Isn't it? Isn't it? I don't know. It's it's weird how... Um, like, Solus is... He's like, oh, I, I hang out in the Fade. I talk, hang out with demons and spirits. This, this is my thing. This is what I do. I've, I've seen things you can barely even dream of. And then he's like, oh, no, but this is the way things are. He's a demon. It, it, no, you can't just want to not be a demon. It, it, what he, contradiction in terms there, Solus. I much prefer Varric's opinion. It's like, this, yeah, you know. This should get me through the month. Come here. This, you know, there's a... Uh, Give me a moment. There's more, what's, uh, what's Shakespeare? There's more things in Greetings. heaven and earth than dreamed you? of in your philosophy. Something else to look right. Who's this then, Cole? You killed me. Did he? What? I don't. I don't even know you. You forgot. You locked me in the dungeon in the spire, and you forgot, and I died in the dark. The, the spire. Cole, stop. Just take it easy, kid. He killed me. He killed me. That's why it doesn't work. He killed me, and I have to kill him back. Yeah. Explain yourself, Cole. If he killed you, wouldn't you be dead? Cole, this man cannot have killed you. You are a spirit. You have not even possessed a body. A broken body, bloody, banged on the stone cell, guts gripping in the dark, dank. A captured apostate. They threw him into the dungeon in the spire at Valroyo. They forgot about him. He starved to death. I came through to help. And I couldn't. So I became. Okay. Let me kill him. I need to. I need to. Yeah. Um. What? <laughs> um. Solus? We cannot let Cole kill the man. I don't think anyone was going to suggest that, Chuckles. Cole is a spirit. The death of the real Cole wounded him, perverted him from his purpose. To regain that part of himself, he must forgive. Come on, you don't just forgive someone killing you. You don't. A spirit can. Varric. The kid's angry. He needs to work through it. A spirit does not work through emotions. It embodies them. But he isn't a spirit, is he? He made himself human. 
And humans change. They, they get hurt. And they heal. He needs to work it out like a person. You would alter the essence of what he is. He did that to himself when he left the Fade. I'm just helping him survive it. That makes sense. I still don't understand. <laughs> Before I decide anything, I need a clearer picture of what happened. It seems the real Cole was an apostate. There we go. Captured Let's explain it. To the circle cool. by Templars. Who aren't known for their <clears throat> gentle nature. As the young man starved to death in a dungeon, his pain caught the attention of a spirit. Likely one of compassion. Compassion? An uncommon spirit, certainly. And all too fragile when its efforts to help prove to be in vain. Uh, Cole needs to grow. Cole will become more human. The amulet may not be necessary. Uh, Cole must forgive for this. Become more like a spirit. The amulet should function properly. So not, neither of these options are... We help Cole go and murder that guy. <laughs> um... So I guess that's like Solus's option. He's like, look, we have to be like Cole. Look, you have to just forgive that guy and becomes more like a spirit. Um, but then the amulet will do the function of which he desires. Um, but he is a, a unique case. I don't know. Um, I'm not sure. Um, you cut, that's the thing. It's good to have forgiveness in your heart. Um, of course. Of course it is. Especially if you've been wronged. That is the... I think that's the you know, the highest form of uh, consciousness is, is forgiveness against those who have wronged us. But you have to feel it. You can't make yourself forgive someone. You can't just decide to forgive someone. You have to truly feel it. Um, so we can't... I can't. I, I don't feel like I can't really turn around to Cole and say, yeah, yeah Cole, I know you're upset, but that, like, you got to forgive that guy. Because where, where, where does that leave Cole? He's just like, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, sure, if you say so. Do you know what I mean? You can't make... So, you know. You know. Like, you know, if uh, someone killed one of you guys, I'd, um... The, the highest form of being would be for me to forgive them. If they were truly, uh... If I determined them to be truly remorseful for what they'd done. But I wouldn't want to. My my instinct, every, all, everything in my consciousness was screaming, I'm going to go and murder that person. Oh, that, that person murdered Scotty. I'm going to go and murder him back. And I wouldn't feel bad about it, and I'd, I'd, I'd feel relief when I had finally killed them i feel and i don't think i'd lose any sleep over it um it's tricky tricky situation um i mean i don't th I definitely think that we should stop him going mud shanking that guy but um i don't f i don't feel like it's appropriate for me to like step in and say cole you have to do this um we should i'm inclined to let him um I'm not murdering you. I'm murdering the person who murdered you, Scotty. Nobody's murdered. No, you know, I'm not murdering you. Um, somebody else is. I don't know. You take it. They've got them. Uh, <laughs> um. Oh. <laughs> but nobody will ever murder Scotty because, of course, uh, he is over 9,000. So it would be impossible. Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh. Let me just uh, <laughs> uh, get Scoy's flex up on here. Um, there you go. You can't. You can't be killed, Scoy. Got too, too many. Uh, got too many years ahead of us. Too many things we need to do. Um, but yeah, so twenty fifth flex. Boom. <laughs> If you I mean if you go if you're going, you might <laughs> you might as well. Uh anyway, thank you. Thank you, sir. Um, I don't know that either of these is the right option or what is the right option, or if is there even a right option in this situation. But Cole is a unique circumstance. Um, I feel we should allow him to become 
whatever you know allow him to follow the path of whatever unique circumstance he's on if that ends badly i feel that's the better way to go than forcing him into his nature do you know what i mean is i don't know that's what i that's what i would want anyway solus won't be happy but you know he rarely is so Cole will never grow into a real person until he comes to terms with what happened. Leave it to me. Oh, Varric's like, yeah, that's fine. I'll, I'll sort it out. All right, kid. You want revenge? Come with me. Oh. They are going to shank that guy. <laughs> okay. Well, I trust Varric. That's, that's how I feel about it. I mean... I'm so sorry. Sorry isn't going to help him now, is it, kid? No. Then pull the trigger and put him down like a mad dog. Do it. No. Forget. No. He needs to remember. You too. We're done here. Well, there you go. Uh, Varric, he's 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 a he's a clever lad, isn't he, Varric? Um. <clears throat> Oh my god. Well, if if needs be, Scotty, let's let's hope that's a long long time away, sir. So. My god. Yeah. If yeah, if it comes to it, let's not hope that's anytime soon. Um <clears throat> It's tomorrow. <laughs> Got you dying tomorrow. No, you, I don't allow it. I won't allow it. Call remains vulnerable to binding. Meh. No, he isn't. The amulet didn't work because he's too human, right? Maybe now the kid's also too human for that binding magic to work on him. I hope you're right. It's worth the risk. It still hurts. When do I stop hurting? Hurting is part of being a person. Come on, kid. Let's go for a walk. It'll clear your head. The left hand misses a friend with two different names. She's hurting, sad, alone. But everyone can see me now. They remember. How do I put honey in Leliana's wine without her noticing? Uh, you you, you I don't. I can help with that. Oh, okay. <laughs> It is good that he is not entirely changed, however human he becomes. God, yeah, I don't know if we can get there in time. But anyway, um, okay, we've got some influence. I feel it's I feel that was the right thing to do. Oh, yeah, three power. We to go with the other hundred and seventy power. We don't need. Yeah, I wish there was something you could do with your, your power. It does seem like a wasted opportunity. I love the idea of, you know, your war table and you have power and influence, like, resources. But it wasn't, it's not as balanced as it should have been. I hope in Dragon Age 4, they kind of retain that idea. And, like, you know, your war table and your map and you're, like, this powerful force that's uh, kind of controlling the fate of Thedas. But, um... You know, it's uh, a bit more. It makes a bit more sense, a bit more fleshed out. I don't know. We'll see. Has either of you noticed the change in Morrigan? I fear for her. She stood there, low. Fear for her, rather than fearing what she will do. You do care. 
I would have concern for anyone who came into contact with that thing. <laughs> and Morgan just stood there being like, oh, you're gonna, gonna talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> uh... Your service. Right, so that might have uh, tied up Josephine's quest line. We'll see. <laughs> or maybe not, I don't know. Um, I'm going to be like, hanging around. Um, ah, okay, go to the Marquis' party. Is that at an act? Is that an actual? Is that a place? It is. Okay. Okay. This is Josephine's mission. Okay, we'll go to this. Um. Oh, Cole! Look at Cole now. He's he's human now, apparently. Um. I guess we'll just take our uh, dragon hunting crew. I don't know how Bull and particularly Sarah would fare at a, a, a formal nobles party. I care not. We're the Inquisition. We, you know, we stomp around. We do what we want. You don't like it, you get wrecked. Um, oh, they actually printed them out, did they? They actually get physical cards. Could you root? Oh, interesting. Thank you for seeing me in private, Minister Belize. I chastise you for taking me from the party, Inquisitor, but the Marquis throws such dull affairs, it's hardly worth it. <laughs> I assume you wish to discuss your petition to elevate these du paraquettes to a minor lordship. Tell me, why should I allow you to pollute the Orlesian nobility any further than it's already been muddied? Uh, well, you seem a bit pollution-y, you know, in, in this 30 seconds that we've just known each other, my dear. So, um, uh, oh, um, yeah, you were noble, somebody. Duparakets used to be noble. You'd be restoring an old house of Orlais. <laughs> restoring it far too late. What are the Duparakets now? Traders? Farmers? Really, it is too much. The very thought causes me pain. Yep. What can you possibly provide that will make your petition worth my effort? Wow. It causes you pain. The words of someone who's never been in a fight. Uh... Oh, oh my god. We try hitting her. <laughs> you can have my body. <laughs> the Inquisition's army, valuable information, connections beyond all lay. Uh, sex. <laughs> Should we give it a go? It should probably turn us down, right? I, I mean, let's give it a go. I don't think we'll be missed from the party for a while. Uh. Are you quite serious? Can't do <laughs> Uh, let's just do it. For the pleasure of your company, Minister. Absolutely. Uh. Lock the door and fetch me some pillows. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, we didn't even. <laughs> we just had to. Sea uh... <laughs> star. How you doing, Sea star? Uh, I hope. <laughs> <You're> just... <laughs> uh, it's business. It's business time. <laughs> uh, um, yeah. 
I don't see stars. Um, that's not. I mean, we didn't even have to commit anything. We just had to get naked for a bit. Which, I mean, you guys know me. Oh, that's not. That's that's like a, a Brucey bonus. <laughs> that's not like a, I've lost anything there. Uh, <laughs> I've got to commit the Inquisition army. I haven't got to offer contacts, you know. Uh, bribe, just, you know. We'll just get naked for a bit. Um, you know, just get a, a bit of workout. That's fine. Okay, speak with Joseph. Joseph, he might be like, oh, you, how did you... And I'll be like, eh, you don't need to know that. <laughs> um, so there we go. So, we've, so far, we've had sex with uh, Iron Bull. And also... That random minister there from all lanes. <laughs> what did the of use, my lady. <sighs> of course she does. Of course. I must return to Valrayo to see that everything is in order. Please join me when you can. All right. Okay. Well, that's that's that then. Um. Oh yeah. Well, I just sent her out on something else, didn't I? Um. Okay. Back to uh, Valrayo. I don't know why if um it's asking me to choose a party when it literally doesn't matter, but you never know something might be kicking off. I guess they don't want to give it away, do they? Um I'm very well, I see stars. Um I'm having a good day. I enjoy Wednesdays. Um no, some people don't like Wednesdays. Uh well I didn't sleep very well last night. Um which caused me to get up late, which caused me to start the stream like about half hour late. Never mind so be it. But then we had uh, connection issues as soon as we started the stream. And I was like, Fuck. but we seem to be back on track now. So, I mean, can't complain, eh? Um, oh, but uh, Squidge just wanted to let us know that... Uh, you know, even though she's uh, like, yeah, I, I do not condone this dragon murder that is about to take commence. Um, she's like, I, I just want to let you know that I am over nine thousand. Um, thank you for thank you, Squidge, for the luck. Um. <laughs> Scridge be up there. Toe to toe with G Ray. Well, even if it, even if you um are unable to eke out that overtake of him, uh, Squidge, you're both looking like you may be slapping Mike down to third position. I mean, it's still three flexors away, so that's a lot. That's that's a lot of three flexors. Or four, technically, to overtake. But if I look over the past couple of weeks, you and G-Ray have been racking them up at a rate. Mike's had one or two. But, you know, if we're looking... If this is like a you know, horse race or car race, you know, you're like looking at it like, oh, okay, well, I'll see where this is going. Um... <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> I like that unicorn. That's cool. It's a bit, it looks a bit roguey. A rogue corn. That's not a thing. What are you talking about? Is um, yeah, no. Uh, C star. No, yeah. What happened yesterday? Um, I had connection issues again. It the ent entirety of my internet in the house in this room cut off like. Because I, I, I was quite involved in what I was doing. I hadn't looked at chat in a minute. Um, um, so I may have... It, you know... It could have... I th we, were, we were close to the end of the stream. So we didn't really miss much. I think I think we still caught the end of... Uh, I was basically making new gear. And you may tell looking at uh, the party's uh, armour. And stuff. 
The only thing I didn't make was uh, the bow. I made a bow for Sarah, but it just wasn't actually as good as the one she'd previously found. New sword and armor for Bull. New staff and armor for us. New armor, shield, and axe for uh, Cassandra. And new armor for uh, Sarah. So we are... We're ready to absolutely wreck anything we come across. Um, but, uh, yeah, so nothing much was missed. But it did kind of mean that it was kind of a, a bit of an abrupt ending. And there was no raid, obviously, because the stream had died. But, you know, it is what it is. Um... <laughs> fair enough, Fruit. Fair enough. Um... Unicorns also have jobs I a and character classes. That's good. I'm glad you don't have to live your life looking over your shoulder anymore. I regret we were forced to deal with them. That you are endangered by my part in the game. Did I ever mention I used to be a bard? You were a singer. Bards entertain the Orlesian courts. They sing, play music, make charming conversation, and spy. Many young nobles put on a mask and practice playing the game in such a fashion. What made you interested in becoming a bard? I was attending a university in Val Royal when I learned about bards. There was such an air of romance about them. Stories of secrets, trysts, and fascinating people. A group of us, young gentry from Antiva, decided this exciting life was for us. I don't imagine many first-born heirs join those ranks. No. I was a rather foolish exception. During one particular intrigue, I encountered a bard sent to kill my patron. We fought. Or perhaps scrapped is the better word. Both of us terrified. We were at the top of a steep flight of stairs. The other bard threw a knife, and I pushed him away from me. You can imagine the result. Um, yeah. You've drawn a clear enough picture. But it was such a waste, Inquisitor. When I took off his mask, I knew him. We'd attended parties together. If I'd stopped to reason, if I'd used my voice instead of scuffling like a common thug... I'll always wonder who that young man would have grown into. Um, too soft hearted for this. Um, no one merciful, but you don't, you don't know that. From bard to diplomat is quite a change in direction. I was headed down that path for some time already. That night merely crystallized it. In all the commotion, uh, forgive me. I don't believe I ever thanked you for helping me with this. Don't need to, Josephine. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. Such a gracious woman deserves nothing less. I... Such talk. I'm quite overcome. Should I stop? Oh, no. I mean, yes. I meant... No, I, I, I don't... <laughs> Well, yes, she's flustered. <laughs> draw a blush to my cheeks. You've completely succeeded. Let's return to Skyhold before anyone notices. Which cheeks, though, uh, Josephine? Uh, <laughs> I, fa I face cheeks, but obviously, you know, I can. I can. Uh, anyway, um, yeah. Thank you, Sea Star. I'm sure we'll be fine. Um, yeah. Someone look at these emotes. Oh wow, that's uh, quite the beard on that uh, unicorn there. Oh, they're quite nice, aren't they? Nice artwork. Oh wow, the uh, <laughs> the the gasm one. <laughs> Oh, yeah, cool. Very cool. Um, okay, I guess that's the end of uh, Josephine's questline there. I assume.
I assume I can just go back and seal the deal with her at some point. Um, right, so we should. Uh, it shouldn't really matter what order we do these uh, dragons in. I don't think. Let's um, let's head to the exalted plains and do do this quest for um, find this white wyvern. This should be hiding in the swamp somewhere. For uh. Uh, Vivian, I'll give us time to have a chat with her while we're doing the other like dragon fights, rather than just leave it at the end. I don't know. Now I don't know what dragon this is. Swamp dragon? I don't know. Mid tier dragon? I don't. I don't know if there's an order. I I, I think the ones in Empire de Leon, the three up there, are like the the tough ones, and maybe the one in the Western Approach, because you have to go to the effort of like doing a bunch of side quests with frederick before you can actually go and hunt it down i don't know they're all tough though i don't think it i think we're talking about minor degrees of difficulty No worries, Sea Star. We'll see you in a bit in a, in a little bit. Um Okay. Did... Oh, that's not this is not where I went to go. I went to go to this camp here. <laughs> Oops. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I, I, I do really like um Alana's mage armor. It looks really rather good. There's a couple of fade rifts here as well. Um, right, yeah, I've been over towards the right a little bit. Um, it's all good. Oh, we've done all the others, might as well at this point. those two there. Hopefully that'll hit both of those. Nice. Uh, this is nice. Wet all the way from my ankle to my yeah, other ankle. Don't complain. Bull. We're about to take you to go do your favourite thing. Fight dragons. Alright. That's what you want to do, isn't it, buddy? I'm about to go do that. Looks like we're, um... We'll probably end up with an, another Inquisition perk before uh, we finish the game, but I don't know at this stage, right, what's really worthwhile or useful, honestly. Oh, hello. Oh, 
All right, yeah. See, I don't know how those things were, but see you how know, they utterly got wrecked. Okay, one of the quest options is to give her a common whiff and heart. I don't know why we would do that, because she'd just be like... Oh, da darling, this is not what I wanted. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Looks like dragon territory. There you go. Oh, it's getting excited, aren't you? Oh. Hmm. I can get both of those. Getting wrecked. I mean, that's what, <laughs> that's what it seemed like he was uh, saying. So the, the question becomes then, Ball, like how how deep is this water, buddy? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um. <laughs> I mean, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not built to uh, be good at relationships. So let me just put it that way. <laughs> Friendships. I, I know. I'm a, I'm a semi-decent friend, but oh, where's this? Oh, here we go. Snowy Wiven. I'll see him. You're right there. We'll wreck your uh, non-snowy Wivens first. Or not, depending. Yeah, the amount of damage us, us um, my staff is doing. The only drawback this uh, might have is if we fight any electrical based dragons. Um, but we, you know, it's not like it heals them or anything. You'll just do reduced damage. Hey, buddy. Um, I uh, I hear a dragon, but I don't know why they're completely ignoring the weapon. Why the weapon's frozen? I don't know. This game is a bit. <laughs> wow, is it? Is it bugged out. I don't know. Oh, okay. Here we go. We've got the snowy weapon heart. All right, dragon time. The first proper dragon will fight. Here we go. Okay, just chilling over there, are you? See this? I don't know what this is. This is ours now. Just in case there's any doubt about it. Well, I think uh, Bull used a potion there at one point, but I think was, that's only yeah, only one got used. Okay, so hopefully we should be good to go. Get an idea of how. Uh, Oh, this is at least. And he's, oh, he's like a hot, hot springs dragon. I don't blame him. I would be uh, as well. Look at his oh, coloration. Look at that. That is magnificent. 
Oh my god, how happy is he? <laughs> how happy is he though? He's not, I'm very happy. Okay, this is an electric dragon. <laughs> Storm Rider dragon. <laughs> Get over here, kids. Get right on over here. But, um, our sword is doing some damage. My God. Yeah, you see how it's like doing 20 damage rather than, uh, oh. Rather than the uh, couple of hundred it was doing on the weapons. Oh, it, you had enough, have you? Yeah, look, we've almost half killed it. I, th I thought we were... I didn't think we'd be... I thought we were prepped, but I didn't think we were, like, this, um... This prepped. Taking damage, but there we go. Oh my god. Exploded? <laughs> His corpse exploded. Wow, okay. Oh no, his, his corpse returned and then this and then vanished. It's the greatest day of my life. Did you all see that? Asta! <laughs> oh my god. That's one dragon. Is Bull gonna survive another of ten of those? <laughs> I think he, I think his, uh, his, his third ankle just uh, got a bit, uh, a bit satisfied. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Okay. Wow. Okay. So we, f fancy stuff. Very, very fancy stuff we've got here. A dragon's tooth. Um. See now the thing is we've already and dragon weapon we've already made all our gear and stuff so it's like I don't know if we uh, need any of this now unfortunately so it might have served us better to maybe try and attempt to kill a dragon or two as we were progressing through the game but um oh, i might get that that dexterity amulet on um sarah that might be good for her i don't know what she's currently rocking Oh no, she's got uh, she's got that Malika's guard, which has already given her uh plus ten dexterity anyway. Uh, let me just check what anyone else has got. Oh, might have some random crap. So yeah, ten cunning. Yeah, so he's probably better for ten dexterity than cunning. I feel. Well, there we go. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Honestly, I didn't think I was going to be. I thought it might be a bit more difficult. Um, but fair enough. Uh. Let me just head over this way. Looks like it's a little quarry or something to collect. Yeah, there we go. Well, okay, that was uh, fairly straightforward, honestly. Oh, random treasure map. I don't care about that. Oh, okay. Well, um, back to uh, 
I don't think there's anything else there, is there? I think that's now well and truly the exalted plane's finally cleared out. Apart from, of course, we uh, messed up the Dalish quest. Uh, cool, so I guess we go back to Skyhold and speak to uh, Vivian and be like, here you go. What do you even need this for? Um, damn. I feel bad. That dragon was just chilling it. Just, you know, in his little, uh, you know, little mud bath. Being like, oh, yeah, this, I'm just chilling here. Did you see the damage I was doing with uh, our spirit blade, though? Like, two and a half K per hit. That's pretty insane. I wonder if, like, um, electrical-based creature is, like, weak against spirit damage. Or maybe it's just our stats are that chunky. Um, but, yeah, you know, it's kind of a shame. We've got all the, you know, I've like got dragon tooth and, you know, dragon hide and dragon bone and whatever else, dragon scale or whatever else. And it's, like, not going to be doing anything with any of it now. Uh, dragon's blood we got for making runes. It's, like, kind of unfortunate, but... You know, it is it is what it is at this stage in the game. Yeah, maybe I'll uh, just kind of uh, overestimate some of them, maybe. Because I remember Lily, like, last week sometime was like, oh, have you fought any dragons yet? And I was like, no. And she's like, oh, okay. <laughs> if you require any assistance, what can I do for you, my dear? Is it too much to hope that you've brought me the heart of the snowy wyvern? Lie, I've brought the heart. Um, well, you like give her a, a like a, a normal wyvern's heart and pretend it's a snowy wyvern. She'd probably be able to tell, right? Well, maybe not by looking. Um. Okay. Uh, I could just give it to her. And I'm gonna say, look, I've, here's the heart. Now tell me why you need it. So I went and got it without asking any questions. Tell me, tell me what's going on, Vivian. Want the Wyvern's heart? You'll have to tell me what you're using it for. I've seen I like that. Better, darling. Give me the heart, and I'll show you what it's for. Will that suffice? Okay, fair enough. That's fine. All right. One heart. She and disapproved me questioning her, but how well. kind of you. <laughs> Please accept this as your payment. I must begin work immediately. You have been a dear friend, and I would like you to come with me. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, like, we found that random amulet. We might get random, like, loot or something, uh, route. So, it's, you know, it's not against it. It's just, um... Yeah, maybe it's more things that when... You, it's, these are things that you need to be far more, uh have far more consideration for if you're playing on, like, hard or nightmare. You know, normal difficulty, you can kind of just, you know, wing it, wing it a little bit, can't you? This should only take a moment, Inquisitor. Okay. Okay, who's this? There's some kind of like health potion you've made. I'm here, my darling. This is the the duke she uh married. Or was the mist no not married, mistress of. Vivian, I'm sorry. That's his final words. There's nothing here now. Oh my god. Okay. I'm sorry I questioned you, Vivian. She's she kind of demands respect, but she doesn't like give respect. You know what I mean? If that was me, I'd be like, yo, uh, you know, Root, you know, when you're out and about slaying those dragons, if you happen to come across a snowy wyvern. Can you get its heart for me? Because my uh, 
my uh, you know my husband is like you know, I need it to make him he's he's on his deathbed you know you know what I mean like why why not share that information she's she's um she's too concerned with other people's perception of her I feel and she can't allow herself to be seen as being vulnerable obviously in that instance there we we're, we're kind of the exception we went with her there but. No, I'd have you know if you know if you're asking for favors for people, of people, the more information you give them, the more inclined they're like gonna do it with a good grace. You see what I'm saying? Um, yeah, exactly, exactly, Ruth. And then I'd be like, oh my god, Vivian, yeah, of course, I'll get on that right away. But she's just like, mm, I need a snow ribbon heart for a potion. What? Why? Mm, I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> yeah, when it's like something. You, even if it's not like something important like that, that's pretty important, isn't it? You know, if it, but even if it's like something that's maybe a bit frivolous or self-serving, if she's like a forthcoming and honest about it, you know, I'm more inclined to, you know, help, you know. Anyway, I guess that was the end of that. I, I, mean, I guess I'll try speaking to her again, see if there's any anything more to say about anything. Bless her, though. Inquisitor? If you require any assistance, not from you, I don't. There we go. Bastion is dead. I can hardly believe it was the Winter Send Ball. My first visit to the Imperial Palace. The Circle sent a dozen of us to entertain the nobility. I was in awe of everyone and everything, and then our eyes met. Bastien spent the entire ball at my side. The Dowager tried to have him killed for slighting her, but yep. he didn't care. Obviously he was smitten, but what did you think of him? He was a dashing rogue, and any defects he might have had were made up for with rank and importance. It was a more innocent time, I suppose. And now he's gone, and I... I must write to his son, Laurent. And his sister will make a terrible fuss if she isn't informed first. And I'll need to arrange for the Chantry services. Maker only knows how long that will take. If I can help you... Just say the word. No, my dear. I'll handle everything. Excuse me. I have so much to do. Oh, bless you. Acquired the Hat of Majesty. What's that? Oh, okay. Oh, for, so, yeah, it's, a, it's a special hat for Vivian. Okay. I guess we'll... I'll give that to her then. Uh, deemed appropriate. I mean, I guess you'll like it more. Um, How may I help? Ah, you're good. Bless you. Oh, yeah, I really like Skyhold. It's <laughs> Skyhold itself might be my favourite thing in the game I could genuinely like to have this this castle <laughs> just I just I just own it just, just live there I say go make sure you get you know get some help you know do some uh, internal uh, renovations and get some central heating in there but um yeah it's cool as all bloody. I wouldn't even mind it like just being up in the mountains like this, away from everything. Um, right, more dragon hunting. Off we go. Uh, I want to nip out for um, 60 seconds. That coffee has gone right through me, folks. Um, yeah, I don't think there was a dragon anywhere in the Fallow Mire at all. I think that's the, what, the one zone that has no dragon. Um, let's get to this camp here. And let's take our dragon hunting team, of course. Let's build it. 
Um, if only. If only roots. Um, uh, just move in and whip your staff. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you could get in, get in trouble for doing that, uh, C star. Um, yeah, you might need some internal walls. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Right, okay. Inquisitor. Hello. Hush. Right, 60 seconds. We'll be right back. Oh, my God. Such a relief. <laughs> right. Let's go. You crazy kids. Now, we saw how excited Bull got from one dragon. I'm taking him on another dragon hunt. He's, uh, he's not going to be able to contain himself. At some point. Big boy, yellow dragon. I don't know what elemental type it is. Wow. I should probably get the shards. Yeah, let's get the, the shards. I don't know if this is the final group of shards or, or not. Um. What was that? Okay, so it seems very aware of our presence. Just, uh... Oh, 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 we just got breathed on while we were doing the ocularum. That was Sarah screaming. Okay. Sarah, do you know how to use a potion, Sarah? You do. Okay, cool. That's a bit cheap that the dragon would breathe on us while we're, uh... While we're... <laughs> Oof! Okay, let's... Head this way, guys. It's got to be a place that's going to land and fight us properly. I don't know where, but... Head in this direction. I 
What's a swine? Cheeky swine. Oh, here we go. Asshole. Brailed and frost back. All right, buddy. Breathing fire at us, have you? It's time for you to get wrecked. Um. I don't know what he's, uh, what he's doing at the minute. <laughs> There we go. Well, it's clearly some kind of industrial uh, operation here that... Oh, 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 oh. Don't just stand there and take it, bull. I know you, I know, <laughs> I know you like it rough, buddy, but... At least me and Sarah can attack it. Oof. Those two are just sat there. Like... Oof. Oof. Oh my god. There we go. So there's only a little bit of fire. I'm fine. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Aiming for Sarah every single time. <laughs> oh, dear. God. Okay, it's uh, got a few little buddies running around. It's hopefully, uh, oof. Cassandra and uh, Bull can deal with those. As it looks like they have, so that's good. Oh, here we go. Got him. Hey, you want us to run up there and fight you? What an asshole. Bull, if you need that potion, matey, drink your potion. Let me need to tell you. There we go. He's almost dead. Sweet. There we go. Oh, this, oh there are ten dragons. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yes. I'm alive. Really. Alive. Oh, Sarah's getting to as well. lit up when he tried to fry us. <laughs> now that is a fight. <laughs> that last burst of flame nearly roasted us. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. Anyway. All's well that ends well. Um What is it what's going on? Seaweed sprinkled on top of what? Was it what, what awesomeness have I missed? Oh my god. 
Three dice sounds uh, peanut butter. Or anything to me is um. Yeah, no, no, no judgment here. That sounds interesting. Um. Always with a salivation, I feel. Ah. <laughs> That's amazing. Anyway, uh, focus gain belt. Interesting. Um, Grand Enchanter's staff. That's pretty amazing. Superb amulet of constitution could be good. Damn. Yeah, he was a chunky boy. I feel he was uh, a bit tougher than the previous one. This is technically the uh, the first uh, dragon you come across. So I mean. Now, cooldown modifier. Probably, it's probably better. Now, what for? What are we, what are we rocking? Plus five magic. Mm. That's not so amazing. Uh, let's put in ten constitution. Or not? Toughen us up a little bit. Um, if you know, I'm not sure, sure we don't really need it, but um, and what's what are the belts everyone's rocking? Yeah, we can get out 30% focus gain or 15% spirit resist. Yeah, I mean, cool though. Yeah, so we've got a, lot, a few little upgrades for ourselves, and just let so, you know, Inquisition. Now owns this dragon nest. <laughs> yeah, I feel the first dragon was, um, uh, you know, we just kind of t turned up to its like mud bath and just, you know, beat it up and murdered it for no reason. This dragon seems like an asshole. This dra we were just like, we were just like out for a walk, and this dragon's like. Rrr! Rawr, have some fire on your face. It's like, I'm not upset we killed this one. Right, okay. That's the uh, that's the ocean there. Thank you, Doke. Ooh, what have we got over here? Loot. God. I don't think we really desperately need gold at this stage in the game, but. I'm sure I'm just leave those, but never mind. Yeah, just got a uh, oh some lyrium to destroy. Uh, is there and a bunch of shards in that first section of this valley? I don't think it's anything over there on that side. Um, you know, Shane Farrakh's not here, but he, you know, he loves us anyway, so. I think he'll, he'll let one of these go. Yeah, slight approval, even though he wasn't here, so. <laughs> I'll, t I'll take that. Yeah, 
I feel that, uh, I don't know, it sounds weird. You shouldn't have to pay for food. That sounds strange. If you want luxury food, you should have to pay for that. But if you just want, like, to live, <laughs> you, know, you just want to have some, you know, you just want, do, you, do you like being alive? Yeah, I, I like being alive. I don't know that I feel like Jeff should like cover get us all covered. Do you know what I mean? Just, just send, send me some bread and some, uh, you know, a, a jar of peanut butter. Jeff, can you do that? Can you can you do that, buddy? You know, a little bit of peanut butter goes a long way. Do you know what I'm saying? Now, how do I get up here? Have I got some like, annoying jump puzzle? Uh, okay, well, it's definitely not from that side, is it? Oh, there you go. Could have been a lot worse. Yeah, no, yeah, exactly. How do you determine luxury? I would say for myself, anything that's I don't know. Yeah, no, yeah, I mean I guess certainly anything that you would consider to be junk food. Anything you don't isn't like really Rebel Mage is really nutritionally place. good and it's just pleasure food. But again, you're, you're right, Rue, how we we have to come to some kind of consensus as to exactly what that is. Oh, guy. Now I believe that's probably. Can I sit here? Uh, banished mage. Uh, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Are you are you fan of uh, Inquisition? I, I assume you are. That's how you found us today. We're quite near the end of the game. We might even be completing it today. We're just currently doing a dragon hunt. I've left the dragon battles to the, the end of the game. We're just going around doing that now. Um, yeah, no, I agree with that. Anything like, uh, you know, basic hygiene. What, you know what I mean? Uh, if you want to, like, some people are like, oh, yeah, well, this soap is, like, a hundred times more expensive than the basic soap. So, you know, and that, because I'm, because I'm rich and I, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, that's, lu that's luxury soap. You don't get that for free. But just you know, the ability to clean yourself. I feel that should be free. But, um, Banished Mage, welcome in. Um, my name is Isnib. Call me Is. Any questions about the channel or anything, you just let me know. I, I do stream frequently. I, sh like I say, I assume you found us today. Because you were you were looking for um, people streaming Inquisition, and you're a fan of it. Are you? Are you play the other Dragon Age games? Have you? Uh, are you excited about Dragon Age Four? Do tell. No pressure. I'm not putting you in the spot here. I'm just letting you know that we're very friendly and uh, welcoming here, and uh, you know we do discuss anything, and everything. Um, no red mage better get an empty power. <laughs> uh, we do not color of mage banished mages, and why the banishment? That's the question, isn't it, Root? It's, uh... Could be banished mages is, is too dangerous. <laughs> um, right, okay, so I think, uh, Crestwood next. Um, and I believe the dragon is around here. Are these Wiven, Wiven statues? Uh, what's the nearest place, I guess, uh... 
I'll just go to that camp there and just run down. Run across the plain there. Let's go for that. Um, taking the bets, are you, Sea Star? All right, you go for it. Uh, <laughs> a forbidden rainbow match. I mean, here's the thing. You know, black magic, white magic, red magic, blue magic, green magic, you know. You know, why Why choose, Rooch? I mean, just... If you, you know, just all the colours. All the colours of the magic. Um, Sween, how you doing? I'm, I'm well. I'm well, Sween. Had a bit of a rough end of yesterday's stream and a bit of a rocky start of <laughs> today's stream. But we're up and running, run away. We're, we're doing well. Um... You're sick, are you? Oh, that's some, that's some good swing. Hey, what's up? You, any, nothing too serious, I hope. Well, I mean, yeah, you got silver lining. Sweeling's doing good. That's good. Okay, we are running in this direction. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, <laughs> 200 influence, complete all the regions in Crestwood. Okay, I, <laughs> I just hadn't run across that little, next to that little farm uh, enough. <laughs> Never mind, I'll take it. Um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to when we wreck Corypheus. I'll tell you that. Is, is wreckage, is wreckage, is wreckage dinning. Wreck that's not a thing. <laughs> it is now it's now folks. It's long overdue. We're uh I'm looking forward to it. I'll slap him in his stupid face. Oh right, here we there we go, there you see the dragon. I don't know what kind of dragon this is. It doesn't look as scary as the one we just fought though. It's a bit more fr not friendly, because we're gonna we just stop we're just getting up in its grill and gonna murder it, but Northern Hunter. Hey, hey there, Mr. Hunter. I'm sorry to be an asshole and just come into your territory and just attack you, but... And it does also seem to be a uh, res resistance to uh, lightning. So that's somewhat unfortunate, but... And so what are you going to do about it? Yeah, it's another thunder type. Over. Oh, poor thing. We're wrecking it. Oh, poor Northern Hunter. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, he's, he, he was the baby dragon, wasn't he? That was, that was great. <laughs> nice, Sarah. Nice. Oh, I always feel bad for him. We could have... Maybe he's like the, the, the easy just dragon in the game. I don't know. What's that? In death, a sacrifice. Rogue armor. I can't be better than what um, Sarah's currently wearing, I'm sure. Uh, life drain ring. Ah, heal on kill. That's no good. Okay, I guess we'll briefly look at that armor. That's like basically the opposite of like Sarah's ethos, <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, it's nowhere near as good as our custom armor we've made. Um, yeah, don't need to be shy, uh, banished. We're all shy. Don't worry about it. You, uh, you know, we're all, we're all friendly here. I'm lucky I've found these guys. They're very welcome. Um, um. You like majors, yeah? I don't. Uh, it, I. <laughs> you're. Uh, yeah, as you should. Uh, as you can see, we're playing a mage in Inquisition. Um, I've got this. We we've recently we've played the whole series. Uh, it's a few weeks about. I don't. 
few weeks ago a month ago we played dragon age 2 and then like about a month or so before that we played origins uh and i've got this weird uh ocd i like obviously if i've played them again like right now i'd mix it up but um i'll do this thing in video games like if i like if i find something i like i kind of just stick with it uh so i like playing a rogue in origins uh a warrior in two and mage in inquisition that's just the way it goes um but yeah you don't need to be banished here you're more than welcome here uh it's very mage friendly chat indeed root um yeah <laughs> yeah he's our leading mage uh <laughs> um yeah sexy lady mage as you know as and why not the sea star do you know what i mean i mean she's invisible at the minute but um okay it's cool oh, i feel bad i feel bad for that dragon we we did literally just murder that dragon are we are we the baddies <laughs> no corypheus is the baddie it's, we're just making the world safer all right okay so we need to can we fast travel there we can excellent we need to take the boat over to the island in the storm coast to fight this next dragon which i also think is a a a, a lot an electric based dragon i could be wrong we see it's not really holding us back though from what i can tell you love this dragon coming up i'm sorry we've got to murder it right but i remember yeah we did actually this is the one only one dragon we uh actually had a little test run at um like uh about a week ago or so and uh i was like oh no we're not ready for this because <laughs> I, I can't remember but i don't know it's got a spyro vibe yeah, Spyro. Um, oh, f fighting. Okay. I suppose a wrecking. I don't know. Um, yeah, Spyro is. I've never played Spyro. Um, and it's uh, it's actually on the list. Uh, a little, a little certain somebody actually bought me a copy of uh the Spyro Reignited trilogy. So the first of those three of the trilogy is on the list. I'm just waiting on producers to vote on it. Um, so uh, it will come around at some point, I'm sure. Um, oh, sure. But, oh, I bet there's nothing. No, there's definitely something here, Sarah. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I'm sure she doesn't mind. Yeah, it was... <laughs> Yes, you have guessed correctly there, Root. It was. She's very much into uh, into Spyro. Yeah. I've, so, have you played uh, Banished? Have you played uh, any of the Dragon Ages recently? Um, like Root here. Root's joined us recently. Uh, Myth Matrix there. That's our friend Root, uh, who uh, has bought a brand new rig, a brand new PC recently, just to replay the Dragon Age games in preparation for Dragon Age Four. So, uh, you know, it's, uh, now I, I've, uh, I guess I'm not, I don't know, I consider myself part of the Dragon Age fandom, which is very, um, you know, very, uh, devout and vocal. Um, but, um, yeah, I mean, I, uh, I got Dragon Age Origins when it was released. I just, someone told me about it or heard about it, and I was like, oh, yeah, like, kind of the new spiritual successor, of, you know, fantasy RPGs to, uh, like, the Baldur's Gate, you know, style games. I was like, oh, damn, let's check this out. And I've, um, you know, followed the series ever since. And they are, uh, ex excellent, uh, fantasy RPGs. So, damn, I don't know, I've not looked into dragon age 4 at all very unlikely i'll be getting it as it's released but um i'll keep an eye out in the future for it right here we go let me um just save it so is this dragon actually one of the tougher ones in the game route you need to get back into it excellent that's right, banished. Um, it's uh, it's 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 a lot to take on. We'll put it this way: our playthrough, 124 hours in to this game. Do you know what I mean? It's, uh, 
it's a lot and i think our playthrough of origins was also uh got up to the 100 hour mark at least um i'd say uh dragon age 2 is the shortest of the trilogy but still we still got like 60 70 hours of that i think um you've done it on a hard mode route i, I here's the thing Ru, i uh I've, I've got like a a rough idea of like how to build a pc but it'd be far too anxiety inducing for me it's not stressful i would not want to actually do it myself if that makes sense And I'd probably end up doing it on hard mode as well. Vinsoma. He's, he's got a name. Unless that's his type. Hey, buddy. There's col colorings on him. That's excellent. Let's get up and whack him in the leg for a start. <laughs> Perceived? Yeah, I, I, I imagine. <laughs> imagine that's the case. <laughs> Yeah, he's uh, definitely electric type. Oh dear. Right, you see he chucked up his uh, guard there, his armor. And it basically got erased. It just, it was there and it was gone. I've, I specifically built, um, most, mostly on, um on a uh, bull but also i think a little bit on uh cassandra um stuff to buff up the extra the extra bonuses to guard damage um so that you know i knew that at least some of the dragons chucked up guard uh and obviously as you can saw you saw how quickly it got wiped off there um this get this obviously seems to be uh not a terrible choice um Yeah, yeah. It's, it's be, here's the thing, Root. Once it's all you got it all properly set up, it'll be um, it'll be satisfying. And you showed me the, the specs of your rig. It is rather good. Root has not spared any expense. Let's uh, put it that way. I know he did it a little, yeah, a little bit. See, start like a little bit, like a doggo, being like, oh, I've got a new friend. And then I just come out, and then you just whack it, and it's like, I feel kind of bad. This is why Squidge is not here currently. Squidge is like, for, it's like a worse thing. Dragons are a favourite thing, and then here I'm just running around murdering them. She's like, is I thought I thought we were friends. Uh, You, yeah, Root, let me tell you, seriously, you're not going to need to. With your specs, You that PC will, will, without you needing to add or change anything, that will last you a minimum of 10 years, in my estimation. 15 years. It's crazy, crazy good. Um... Yeah, this is the age of dragons of wholesale murder. <laughs> yeah. Could have been. I guess that's just the, the route that they chose to uh go with uh go with the dragons, wasn't it? They were like, let's make them Oh. Oh yeah, we want to spread off, I think. With this attack. Oh, we're getting sucked in, are we? Definitely seems, um... To be the toughest of the dragon we so, fought so far.
no, no, po no point in using that. <laughs> oh. There we go. We got him. Kind of feel bad, but also... Never mind. Damn, this influence is chonking up. Right, in peace, vigilance. Again, that looks to be very nice. Uh, very nice heavy armor there, but don't need it. Fancy, fancy old dagger. Uh, oh, the schematic for the master dragon stain rune. Nice. Um, a flanking ring. Uh, all those mat lovely materials. Bless it. Well, that was a thing. Yeah, I'll, I think we're... Um, I think we're, we're slightly OP. Now, I will say this. I, I did at least one of my previous playthroughs play on Nightmare and did all this, so I think it might be... Look, I've kind of... I've still got that mindset of <laughs> having done that, so I'm like, ah, we've got to wait to the end. You, you like, and that, you really do have to wait to the end to fight the dragons, but seemingly here, it seems to be like less of an issue. Um, what's that there? Requisition officer. What well, they want requisitioned? Um, yeah, you got mad route because you can't pet a cow in Valhalla. Okay. Um, and you can't pet your horse. Okay, that's... That seems a bit uh Inquisitor, unfair. What is it? This may be worthwhile. No, it's not it's not worthwhile, thank you though. Uh that's unfortunate. Um Required pro pet every animal you come across. <laughs> uh I mean you, people do appreciate that it's a small it's a little things, isn't it? Um Yeah, it's, it's, it's weird, isn't it? Right, so that's right. one, two, three, four dragons are down. Um, yeah, in the Emerald Graves, we've definitely got one. And it's up in this direction somewhere. It's the north. Um, right, let's go, uh, go find out. Um, What of a of a doggo? What is it, sea stuff? Nothing new with me. <laughs> yeah, what's that? What's that route? Can you pet the dog on Twitter? Is that is that the name of the page? Yeah, Twitter's uh, weird, isn't it? Uh, either people seem to like have it and uh, you know at least like check it frequently, or people are like, "No," uh, not saying that's usually <laughs> like Scott is like that. He's like, "No," and I'm like, I see loads of things that are really interesting, Scotty, that make me think of you on Twitter, and he's like, "No," <laughs> uh, well, what, right, buddy? <laughs> what? What, what, can, what can I do? <laughs> There's nothing I'm going to do, is there? <laughs> okay, obviously not that way. I'll go around this way. Somehow. Can we get up this way? There we go. So, ooh. Uh, yeah, down here. Alright, so I think if I just head north from here... We should bump into a dragon. Uh. Yeah, say that again. Uh, 
Oh, in video games. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, Scott is like, well, no. <laughs> yeah, I so I do boycott TikTok. Uh, if anyone's not looked into it, uh, TikTok is the most invasive uh, app or piece of software that exists, certainly in social media. It, it but they basically just... And it's not like they're, they're um, doing it underhandedly or illegally. In the, t in the tw TikTok terms of service, they detail how they are saying, yeah, by, by, you, you, are, you, by you downloading and installing and using TikTok, you are agreeing for us to have access to basically all information on your device, including keystrokes, what you look at, um, also any other device connected on a network that you the de the device you have the app on we also have access to that even if those devices don't have tiktok on them look it up folks have a little look so to me i'm like well that is not a thing that i want anything to do with so please go away tiktok yeah i mean i don't want to <laughs> i don't want to start kicking off political uh conspiracy stuff but yeah scotty's not wrong it is essentially it's owned by the chinese government who are not democratic who are essentially gangsters and they are collecting your data for free um so you know just be aware of that be aware of that um um uh, no that's what it used to be like ryan it's not really like that it's people sharing ideas and artwork and all sorts of things and get news and information um Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, me too, Root. Me too. That's how I do it. Um, yeah, the summon the, and and the summoning spell worked. Um, yeah, I've never looked at Snapchat banished. Um, yeah, Red Mage, we've got another mage up in here. Banished mage. Um, That is a rather cool emote you've got there, right? <laughs> um, really? You said that to someone, uh, Scotty. You said to somebody, oh, did you know TikTok is literally spyware for the Chinese government? And they were like, you're racist. Well, no. that The person who said that to you, Scotty, I don't know who it is. Um that person's ignorant and there's no there's no shame in being ignorant there's no there's no shame in saying putting your hand up and saying oh i i don't know any i don't know information about that um maybe i should do some research on that thank you for informing me or even oh what you're saying seems a bit sus to me maybe i'll, I'll do some research and i'll get back to you on that but to just go no you're racist no that person is ignorant um but yeah, and, I just, and that's not me. I'm not taking a side on things, but that is literally, if you actually look into it, the Chinese, you know, government owns TikTok. TikTok is literally built at like spyware. As most social media apps are, to one degree or another, you know, any information you put on Twitter, YouTube, Twitch, you, you name it, the, the Google, as, you know, they gather information, data on all of us. It just turns out, that the TikTok app is by far the most egregious of all data mining, you know, collect, you know, data collection on an individual and everything they do. Okay, so just, just, that's just fact. Just be aware of that. I'm not saying don't use it. I'm not saying the Chinese government is evil. Uh, <laughs> and I'm certainly not racist. Okay, anyone who wants to say that, I will fight them. Uh, <laughs> I'm not racist, but I am violent. No, I'm joking. <laughs> uh, you know, so I'm not, it's not like a political statement. It's not like, oh, let's get into this. But anyone who turns around and says, oh, that's not true. It's like, that's not true. That's just some nonsense you made up. Is obviously a person who has done no research on it. Because the, the information is out there to go and find. Just do a little bit of research. It's not, you know, it's just facts we're talking. It's not hidden. Um, 
you know. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm sorry someone said that to you, Sky. So there are uh, there's stupid people out here. Um, okay, I'll excellent, C Star. I'll have a little look at that what you shared uh, later on. Um, yeah, there's a little bit of mental just gymnastics sometimes. People, um, cognitive dissonance. Uh, there's there's a lot of that going on nowadays. Just don't. It's okay to have an opinion on things, and it's okay to know a lot of information about some subjects and not know anything about other subjects. But to be just kind of like be, this is what I've decided is the way of things without any research or facts to back it up, and then they'll then they'll even argue that you like something. There's some like some wiring is loose, you know, and it's not even necessarily their fault society is conditioned to you know is is designed almost i would say now we're putting the tinfoil hat on uh to condition people to not think for themselves okay uh and just to accept the status quo and just to accept what you're told you know it's the you know that's the standard position of you know of, of a citizen of the world is you know it's to not think for yourselves you know so consider yourself lucky if you are someone like me who you know, you you willing to actually think outside the box and be like, oh, and don't just believe everything you've been told, and you know, and do do a little bit of research and such. Um, um, yeah, it's a problem, Scotty. But look, there's 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 the hardcore center uh, that you know, yeah, I don't know where you want to put it. The, the true woke. <laughs> those of us who are like you know suspicious of everything we see and everything we hear and we're like oh hang on a minute hang on um oh interesting banish yeah watch out for that person uh yeah st stay away um yeah it's a problem ryan yeah, that's terrible. Well, it used to be in the bidet, and it should be. This is the true way, you know. If, like, Ryan has a different um, philosophy of life or uh, there's activities that he partakes in or he has opinions on things that I disagree with, the adult and true sensible thing to do is engage Ryan in a conversation and be like, Ryan, I don't understand this. I, I kind of disagree with it from my a small amount of knowledge. Please explain your position so I can understand you and your opinions better. That will make me a more knowledgeable and greater person, uh, even if at the end of the conversation we still disagree and we, we, you know, we'll still be friends regardless. There's a lot of nowadays, folks, in 2022, there's a lot of, oh, no, you disagree with me. You're Not only are you wrong, you're probably an evil person. You're probably, an, you're probably evil. Evil. Uh, and it's like... <laughs> When when did that happen? Anyone who take anyone who takes that kind of uh, stance, that emotional stance over the uh, the mental stance, um, and will put feelings before facts. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, we've got to try and help those people, but I don't know how. Uh, the best thing to do is just to maintain yourself, do the right thing yourself. But um, um. But yeah, that, yeah, Ryan, I agree, and it's bullshit. Um, yeah, more than welcome to uh, if if you uh, if that's a thing you uh, desire. Banished. Um, I know most people have their own Discord, or they got their own group of buddies, and they, um, you know, I joined too many Discord servers, so I had to leave a bunch because it's like, why am I even? I don't have time for this um but the, you know more than welcome to if that's a thing that uh is useful to you yeah uh <laughs> i don't know like i say i'm not trying to get political or you know or ranty with you guys you know what i mean but the most important thing is to think for yourself and if anyone tells you something do you, do, you know don't dismiss it but don't outright just believe it do your own research as best as you can um, and just be suspicious of anything you've, you're told, especially 
if it comes from a source that is considered an authority, such as, uh, in, you know, including but not limited to governments. Truly, don't, you know, just just be. No, not every, I'm not saying everything they say is a lie. I'm just saying you should carefully consider because they, you know, all governments have a historical track record of lying to their citizens about absolutely anything and everything. So, you know, just. <laughs> Just, just be, just be aware. Just, just, just think, think for yourself. Nobody knows better than you. I don't know better than you. You guys don't know better than me. Nobody knows better than you. Just make sure your own opinion is your own opinion. You know, not somebody else's. You just, you just uh, parroting. You know. All right, there, big boy. Guy, nice, beautiful blue and yellow on him. He's got a chunky old head, hasn't he? He can't see us in a minute because we're. Uh... Invisible. Oh no, he saw us. Oh no, I oh, know, I oh, know. Oh no. Okay, well, I don't know what his element is. Maybe his um, greater mistral. I don't know what his element is. It's not thunder. Maybe it's uh, frost. Oh, yeah, very much frosty. Very frosty. Oh, yeah, the, the blue and yellow on him is beautiful. Uh oh. He's, he's going to breathe on us. Look at that. Oof. Sandra just got solidified there. Oh, Sarah, your turn. Yeah, yeah, chunky boy. Oh. Yeah, not good at getting out of the way of things. Oh. Did that fail to uh, reach ball there? I don't know. A bit sus to me. Oh dear, poor thing. Yeah, same again. Seem to just be like out of range, maybe. Anyway, you uh, get back, get on that uh, plus one strength chicken there. Um. Wow, banished. That sounds uh that person's an awful person. Um
There we go. Poor thing. Be much. Why don't I got 10,000 XP for that one? Unless we're getting more as they go along, possibly. Damn. Oh, they've lost excitement now. Bull's like, oh, yeah. first dragon, he's like, oh my god, it's amazing. On, from here on, he's like, oh, I'm oh, fighting another dragon, are we? <laughs> uh, Helm of the Inquisitor. I think what we've made for ourselves is probably better than that, but let me have a look. Uh, and then light armor in war, victory. It seems pretty good, but it's nowhere near as good as what we've currently got. We've made ourselves. Oh, they've all leveled up. That's nice. Wow, I mean, yeah, no, I went with that because of the. Oh, so I sat for for uh, Alana's helm. I sacrificed um, armor rating for more magic and willpower. So it would seem to uh, make more sense to stick with that. Um, well, the yeah, helm of the Inquisitor there is pretty good, and the armor that. <laughs> 100 armor rate and we're losing for that. Um, yeah, and uh, with Sarah there. Kind of in dexterity. So it's very nice and it looks cool, but not too much that we can personally do with it. Um, I'll give you one of our Secondary characters, I guess, but... Right, Cassandra. Where are we at? Uh, I don't know, we need Rally. Okay, she just used Blessed Blades, so let's... Um, buff that out for her. Bull, where you at, buddy? And he's fully... Uh, on a rampage. With our focus, I guess. It's a lot of focus. Just for ten seconds seems a bit, a bit much. Maybe we'll um get on the was it the vanguard? The battlemaster was going to do do M four. Yeah, I don't think it matters at this uh, stage in the game, but still, oh yeah, not do. Yeah, really. so that's cool. I like the naming conventions of them, uh, of the the armors there. Right. Okay. So now we've got. Um, of course, I think we. I don't know if we got all of the. All of the shards. I think we might have. Let's um let's head over to the Forbidden Oasis. Like I, said, I don't know if we've got every single shard in the game now. We may have. That might have been the last few we we uh needed. Um we are, we are Ryan, yeah. It's um We are making a short work of them. I don't know, slightly easier. We could have taken them on maybe a bit sooner, but it's fine. Just want to, uh, you know, make sure we uh, we we do them for the playthrough. Um, I have Ryan. I've seen. I have seen Mob Psycho One Hundred. I've. Are they? Is the third season due out? I think. I think Red Mage put in the conflux. Um, what the upcoming anticipated anime? Like, there's a third season coming out. Like soon. Uh, I've seen the first two seasons, and they are damn excellent. Honestly, Ryan, I really rather love Mob, Mob Psycho 100. You're watching it at the minute. Oh, you, oh, you're watching season three at the minute. Oh my god, I'll be. So I'm. We're talking about this yesterday. I'm terrible at watching um episode by episode uh anime. So I will wait until the season is done. I guess that'll be like maybe around Christmas time, uh, and then I'll download it and watch the whole thing. Yeah, oh my god. Yeah, it's um I love it. It's it was made by the same guy who did One Punch Man. Now I Oh my god. Um uh, 
people start so murdering this nug as well. <laughs> well, 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 right here. <laughs> um, so overall, I do prefer. Um, no, I mean they're very different anyway, but I do. I mean, they've they got the similar theme of an individual. Uh, you know, the main character is a kind of like a weirdo who uh, has more power than they know what to do with. Uh, <laughs> um, so that's similar. Uh, aside from that, they're kind of both very different. But um, I, I kind of, I guess, I like the the overall gist of one punch man more but overall i feel mob psycho is uh is a better series i just wasn't like really i don't know i wasn't i wasn't into uh the second season of one punch man so much one punch man they could have literally done one season and just left it at that and that that is the story but um I don't know, it's, it's fine. I'm interested to see where it goes, but um, I feel like uh, Mob Psycho's got more uh, story potential. Okay, well, they were weak. I guess I'll take all that crap. All right, Josephine's ready to report in. I guess we can quickly head back to... Um, Skyhold. If we can wrap up the, uh, the the rest of the operations before we complete the game, that would be uh, handy, but I'm not. It doesn't, we wouldn't have to. It's not the end of the world if we don't. Oh, wait. Shards collected for the next door. Six out of 18. So we've got a bunch we just haven't got yet. Ah... Uh. Okay. Interesting. I don't know where they would be. But we shall see. Um, yeah, that's... Um, yeah, really, why did we murder that nug? I don't know. Bull's just... He's in his bloodlust. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I do prefer that. Let's see, Star. It's just I've, I've been like burnt a little bit uh, by doing it week by week. When Naruto was on, I was uh, I watched it week by week, and I don't know if anyone's seen all of Naruto, but um, I don't know if this is the general consensus. I don't know how people feel about it. Naruto overall is a wonderful, wonderful anime, uh, a, a classic, le legendary uh, series, and there's a lot of great awesomeness about it, but. It's far from perfect. It has a lot of issues as well. One of the myriad of issues it has is the ending, in my opinion, is not very good. It's just not very good. Um, not only that, leading up to the very ending, they put filler in it. Like, really terrible, bad filler. So I'm watching it week by week in what I perceive to be the, the final battle what seven like you know basically it's five six hundred episodes have led up to this point the final battle with all the heroes kicking off and then they go boom now time for some filler and the funny thing is you even get filler within the filler so try not to spoil it for anyone um this is not really too much of a spoiler but all, all of the good guys are fighting the bad guy the ultimate bad guy and he has he does a special move where he basically puts everyone to sleep he puts everyone to sleep. And it, not only are they unconscious asleep, they're, like, trapped in their own little, like, fantasy dream worlds. Whereas, actually, things are nice. It's great. And the idea is they enjoy, they don't... They kind of don't fully twig there in their dream world. And it's real nice. So they just try and stay there and they don't escape. That kind of idea. Um, so you get a few random, you know, filler episodes. Oh, we'll go to this character. See what's going on in their dream world. Oh, guys. We'll have two or three episodes with them. We'll go to this character and have a couple of episodes with them. All, all, all entirely meaningless uh, for the overall story. Uh, then we go to a character, we go into their dream world, and in their dream world, this character is reading a storybook. Then we get the filler of the storybook of that what that character's reading in their dream world, and I'm like, I'm not Naruto. Fuck you. Fuck you, Naruto. Fuck you. 
sorry, language, guys. <laughs> I'm like, this is the this is the final battle. Why are you chucking this shit at us? It's it's an embarrassment. Naruto himself is a great character, but you enjoy that good filler, not that kind of good filler. Uh, <laughs> <Red Match. laughs> but anyway. Anyway, so that's my little Naruto rant there. Some of you heard that before. I'm sure that will come up again in the future. But um, anyway, yeah, you're off to a meeting, uh, Root. Thank you for the luck. Um, so um, <sighs> it was not good. Basically, I know this was a time when I was watching it week by week, and I I basically just stopped. I was like, Fuck you, I'm not doing, I'm not doing this anymore. Um. And then I came back to it, like, maybe two years after it had finished. And I was like, okay, let me track. And I think I would like had, like, 50 episodes to go to the end. So I went and downloaded those 50 episodes, and I watched it through. And it was still not good, but it was not as bad as if I'd watched it week by week. So I don't do that anymore. One Piece is the only series I watch week by week. And even then, sometimes I'll skip a week. And I'll, like, download two or three episodes in one go. Um, never again. There's not a single anime that is, will come out or will ever come out that I will do that again. I will wait for a season to finish. Um, whether that's like short and 12 episodes season and I've only got to wait a couple of months from when it starts. Or whether the new Bleach that's coming out soon. Red Major reckons it's, it could be up to like 100 episodes. Now if that's one, one week by week, that's two years. That could potentially be two years of new, new Bleach. And I'm going to have to wait two years no, before just... I watch it. And I'm fine with that. Like everyone else. But Not for much longer. maybe that's just me being a bit weird. But <laughs> uh, anyway, what should we go for? Um, we've got all our focus, haven't we? So random schematics. I don't think schematics are useful at this stage of the game. Um, what, is, what is even important at this point? More, more money. Uh, crafting materials, eh? <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think I literally don't think it matters at this point. Um, let's go with Antiven Taylor in, I guess. Right, anyway. Pouring in from all corners. Congratulations, pledges of loyalty, conversions to Andraste. All premature until we deal with Corypheus. Yes, indeed, Cullen. Celebrate the dragon slaying. Which one? Okay. Uh, ha yeah, we, we murdered. De not defenseless creatures, but creatures that were minding their own business, certainly. <laughs> Right, five hours on that, so I don't even know if we'll uh, get that wrapped up. Anyway, that's that taken care of. Um, the Goku drawing just <laughs> powering up for three weeks. Yeah, I think there. Were, I think uh, there was like a whole was actually a whole basically a whole episode of Dragon Ball Z where Goku the whole twenty minutes he's just like, Rah! Ah! you know, just trying to gather his power. Um, I don't think it was literally, it wasn't 20 minutes solid, but it would cut to other characters who not really much was happening and they didn't really say anything important. <laughs> and they just switch, it, cuts back to Goku. <laughs> and you're like, <laughs> um, still good fun though. Still good fun. See, that kind of filler I can take, Ryan, but when they just like go off on tangents or even when it's non-canon, like Naruto even has some filler that's literally doesn't, I don't just mean like non-canon as it's not part of the main story, but it actually contradicts the things that are established um, in uh, as how they function in the, the main anime. It's like, what? Uh, anyone doesn't know, uh, Naruto is one of his abilities. He can make shadow clones of himself. Uh, Kagi Bunshin no Jitsu. Uh, and they're, they're, you know, the idea is they can they have attack power because they're a shadow clone. It's like, you know, they have like one hit point. Any any attack on them just like removes them. And it, you know, it needs to... So it's very good offensively, very good for distraction, but not very good for, def you know, 
they can't defend themselves. But you know, it's a good way to conceal himself because you don't know which one is the real Naruto. Um, but that's all they are. They're just an illusion uh, copy of yourself. In one of the filler, his shadow clones start taking on personalities, and they're like arguing with each other and have have having conversations. And it's like that's not a thing. It's, you know, is it, to disres to have no regard for your own artwork is um, very frustrating to me. Like, if I was the manga car, I would be like, no, you're not doing that. No, I, I, I'm, I'm vetoing this filler. This filler is a joke. Go away. Get, get this trash out of my sight. How dare you even exist? But, you know, money's also good, so, you know. Uh... <laughs> Ranty rant, sorry, I'm ranting, guys. Um, yeah, hard, yeah, hard not to love bleach. Uh, rat, how you doing today, rat? Are you well? And C stars getting that coffee. You getting that C star? Um, did you, Red? Okay, you're far more forgiving than I am. I love, <laughs> I love that little D. I could listen to that all day. Um, my god yeah i could go for ramen i've never had like real ramen like real authentic decently made but um you're doing good are you right finally got around to cleaning how long has this cleaning been uh on the back burner rat um uh, i'm not a slob by any means i don't feel but uh i, I i'm not like fastidious with cleaning i can see a little bit of dust over there on uh my um tv stand and it might remain there for you know a few more days or even like another week you know what i mean i don't i don't really care enough <laughs> um yeah yeah and that's the thing if you are feeling a bit depressed rat you kind of you don't want to be bothered to do stuff like that i find if you force yourself though it can actually help with depression if you, you know, do some get up and do some practical thing um, it can kind of drag you out a little, little bit. Um, but is that, uh, is that anything to relate to your birthday? Because it was about two weeks ago. It was your birthday, wasn't it? Or was it not that long ago? I don't know. How long ago it was. Um, yeah. It can, yeah, you'll, probably, you'll feel better, Rat, once you've uh, done it. I, I assure you. Now, is it clean as in just clean, like... You know, vacuuming and dusting and stuff. Or is it, um... Like, actually tidying up. So I usually... Or maybe sometimes I could be a bit lax on the, the you know, vacuuming and dusting. Um, but I, I'm pretty tidy. I don't have, like, random crap lying around for the most part. Um... Not that there's, you know, necessarily anything wrong with that. You know, we're all, you know, each to our own. We're all different. Uh, here we go. I'll do a save because I don't know. This dragon might wreck us. This dr this dragon here is um takes the most amount of preparation, seemingly. I have to do that like long list of side quests for Frederick before uh, he can get it to spawn. There we go. Okay. Oh. Setting traps for dragons. Why not? <laughs> We've got his health bar. Boss, I want you to know, you're the best. <laughs> All right, abyssal high dragon. All right, here we go. This might be the toughest one we fought so far. Oh, we're getting a closer look, yeah. Big old scary looking red boy. Gonna land, buddy. Oh. Um. I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> oh. 
Oh my god. You are Cassandra. Oh, oh, getting a bit of uh, lag up in Oh my god, you're right, Cassandra. <laughs> Let's get a fireball to the face. Oh wow, okay. His bark was worse than his bite. Oh, I love the, love the coloration on him, though. That, br that deep red with the um, bright green speckles on his belly. Oh, okay. <laughs> game was just deciding uh what was going on there um uh, wow that was um <clears throat> interesting rat yeah if, if you uh have you spoken to anyone about that um yeah red major i hated it I absolutely hated it i don't mind filler if it's of a, a decent quality you know, uh, you know, a, a certain level of, you know, quality, which obviously not as good as the main proper story, but as long as it's not trash, and he's, he's put in the right place. If you are in the middle of the final battle between the final big boss and all the heroes, and you're putting that jank in, I'm like, you, I'm not going to be happy. I'm just, you know, be, be aware of that. 20% armor penetration rings. Nice. Um, I don't know that anybody strictly needs that, though. That's the only thing. Here we go. Now, do we go and speak to Frederick about... I guess we do, don't we? And tell him about it. Yeah, we'll report back to Frederick. He'd be like, oh my god, so amazing. Oh, you didn't have to kill it, though. Or maybe he, was, he wanted us to kill it. I don't know. But uh, Banished Mage, thank you for stopping in and uh, dropping that follow and uh, chat with us. You're welcome here anytime. I do stream every Monday to Friday, doing all sorts, every, anything, anything and everything you can think of, within reason. Um, but thank you for the lurk. I appreciate it, my friend. Um, yeah, yeah, there you go. If you just uh, do a clean, brat, and get all of your arts and craft stuff, like, into... A decent order ah, you feel much better i'm sure of it we killed the dragon you can be like what the high dragon attacked me when i planted the bait i'm afraid it's dead she attacked how oh, wonderful <laughs> you had a first-hand view of her behavior did you take any notes on her aggressive posturing um I suppose you wouldn't have. <laughs> no matter i should very much like to interview you uh, at a later time of course I could join uh, your Inquisition. My expertise could be of use, and your scouts could help me find other specimens. Yeah, sure. Certainly. I'm sure the Inquisition could use a Draconologist. Excellent. I'm sure my research will be of great use to you. All right, cool. There we go. I just recruited uh, Frederick to join the uh, Inquisition. I don't know what he actually provides for us, but that's... Neither here nor there, really. Honestly. Um, yo, Squidge, welcome back. Good news, Squidge. Uh, we recruited. Uh, we just recruited Frederick, the Draconologist. Bad news is I, I've just murdered about six dragons. Now, a couple of them deserve, like two. A couple of them deserved it. A couple of them were assholes. We were just, you know, I was. There's at least one. I was like, you're, you're an asshole of a dragon. A couple of them, though. 
we did just kind of like just stop kick, like literally just kicking the door of the house and be like ha and the dragon's like what i'm like we're here to murder you and the dragon's like what <laughs> so I, i'm sorry about that i'm sorry about that squidge but it's um it's just the, it's just this is just the game <laughs> um No, no, one of them was an absolute asshole, and I'm glad we killed him. The others, I'm like, I feel a little bit guilty about. Um, and we've got a couple more to go. But, uh, you know, just pretend, pretend they, they deserve it or something, Squidge. I don't know. <laughs> you believe me, excellent, of course, because I would never lie to you. So that's, that's all good. Um, yeah, I don't know what this quest is. This quest seems to be balked, and I don't think it really matters. So we'll move it on from that. So the hit, there's definitely one in the hissing waste, isn't there? And then we've got three of the Empire de Leon. Okay, so let's go to the one in the hissing wastes, which should be down here. And there's seemingly no quick way to go there, so let's just get to the uh starting camp and stomp our way around. Yeah, I'd prefer to, I like I enjoy organizing things. You know when you like see star you know when you move house it's a pain in the ass it's just a pain in the ass uh and it's not fun but i find a certain satisfaction in like arranging a room like methodically like unpacking things and uh like okay deciding where things live uh having think getting things in their proper place there's definitely a satisfaction in that to me um I have not uh, Squidge, but I have seen uh, Professor Sean play it. I've seen her play it a little bit of it, and um, it looks it looks satisfying. <laughs> I would probably enjoy it. I think it is it's good, is it? It looks very chill. I would enjoy it. Um, but who knows? Uh, so we may be just to let people know, and we'll discuss this at the at the end uh, after we've uh, when we're talking about what games we're moving on to next. Um, there was a game coming up, which is not either our next two games, which are relatively short, but maybe the game after, depending on how votes look in the near future, that it will, I believe, will necessitate me finally spending some of my Microsoft points and getting a three-month uh, uh, Game Pass uh, sub. So it would be kind of a waste of Game Pass to only play, like, one little game. So we may be, like, just mixing up a little bit folks and uh playing the uh, kind of doing a bit more experimentation of looking at some random games on game pass maybe um it, yeah if you guys want to um it's definitely a couple of games on game pass which i would like like to play which might be lengthy uh looking at you uh dragon quest 11 um but um there's probably a lot of a lot of stuff on there that we can just like test out might be cool might be not we won't know to you know it might be fun to get the the most out of game pass i don't know uh, of course i always want to honor the wishes of the producers so if it came to pass that you know i ended up like kind of wasting three months worth of game pass <laughs> so be it um but i do anyway the point i was getting to i believe unpacking is on game pass at the minute so or it was last time i checked so that could be a, you know, a cool little chill game to play for a bit. I don't know. We shall see. Yeah, guys, sorry, we don't need to kill that. Disengage. Disengage. There we go. Um, we shall see. Uh, RPGs, yeah, they're always so long, Squidge, but they're always the best games, though. So that's. <laughs> so it's like double edged sword, isn't it? They take the longest amount of time to play, but they're usually the best. Um, either way, whether we were to play like a couple of long games or a couple of dozen short games or even if we don't complete them if i don't like them or we don't get into them um it, you know it would be advantageous to the the channel to make the most of that you know that three months of game pass um you know but we'll see you know i always want to honor the wishes of the producers first and foremost um but we'll see how it goes um Is it rat? That's not the opposite to me. I'm I'm very Spartan when it comes to decoration because when I was younger, I didn't. I used to have like mod, like Resident Evil models and Final Fantasy figurines and all sorts of things, 
and I'd put them up on the top of shelves and on top of the wardrobe and they just like look cool but they just gather dust and now I'm like the opposite in my old age I'm like I don't like ornamentation or decoration at all I don't know if that was says about me what it says what's more important in my idea of decoration is the fact that seven there is most assuredly in every in every sense of the expression absolutely over nine thousand aren't you seven you've got some good taste if i may say so thank you let me let me just get that uh flex sorted out on the board for seven what are you at mod dear i know you're on there somewhere i hate the scroll wheel on my mouse I don't know what's up with it. It's, um, sometimes it's not responsive and sometimes it's overly responsive. I think it's just me. Um, I don't think it's the mouse. E. Excellent. Third flex from seven there. I've taken a few people there. Nice. The 33rd up to 29th. Oh, let me just uh, get the uh, the board rearranged. There we go. Perfect, sorry. Um, oh, have you? Have you, Rat? We don't have to. You can uh, be sure, sure to take some pictures and share them with us. What's this uh, comic on this? I've never, um, never been to one, unfortunately. Like a convention like that. I'm sure I'd bloody love it. Um... But of course, you you know you want to go take money, and then um, yeah, Squidge knows all about these. She's been to many. Yeah, my problem is Squidge. I'd be um like uh oh look at all this cool stuff I want to buy. Not to mention the f the you know homemade fudge. <laughs> um, Doing a Genshin teapot. What is that, Seven? Um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty good emote, <laughs> Seven. It really is. Uh, <laughs> oh, which uh, is a particular wizard or just like a, a random... Uh, Hogwarts student, right? Are you going as a particular character? Um. Oh, Ravenclaw. You are you Ravenclaw, rat? Right? I'm Gryffindor, apparently. Which uh, I was not my choice. It's just that's what I was told. I was. <laughs> um. There you go. That's cool. You don't have to. Yeah, it's better to go as yourself as a student. Um, Arthur Dent, really. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, oh, who are all these Ravenclaws up in here? I, I can't not respect it. I feel like the Ra Ravenclaw is the um, is the backbone of Hogwarts. Let's go back where there's something. Yeah, that, yeah. Sorry, I wandered in the slightly the wrong direction, Sarah. Do do forgive me. You know, you've got um, you know, you got Gryffindors running around being being heroes, being like, oh, right, look at me. Uh, you know, you've got uh, you know, the Hufflepuffs just being like super nice to everybody, which is also very important. 
and you've got the Slytherins, you know, doing their, you know, their, their shady Slytherin things. Um, you know, but the Ravenclaws, surely they're the ones who are really, you know, the backbone of of the student body. Making, you know, keep the, you know, the glue that's holding it all together. Um, I respect that, Rat. I'm, I'm not, like, really someone who dresses up. You can probably tell. You probably noticed that by now. Uh, <laughs> um, yes, Hufflepuffs with the emotional support, which is very important. It's a very important role. Fry and Layla. Oh my god. I do love me some future armor, sea star. I think it's I think it's superior to the Simpsons. Um I don't yeah, I I think a lot of people feel that, but it's like re it's like really good. It's not even the fact it's a sci fi setting. It's just like really rather excellent. I feel it's like underrated is future armor. If uh, if I'm being honest. Right, so I think just down here somewhere we will find another dragon. Oh, hello. There's our dragon. Oh wow, that's a good one. <laughs> Wow, oh, nice coloration. The Sandy Howler. Another big boy. You're right there, Cassandra. Scary scream. Got in, in the way of some of its babies, though. See, like that. That one there, Squidge. Squidge is probably weeping right now. Um, like that one, we just we just murdered that right. poor fellow. Yeah, I mean yes, I'm alive, really alive. See I feel bad. Everything lit up when it tried to fry us. <laughs> now that is a fight. That last burst of flame nearly roasted us. Robes of the High Keeper. Ooh, that is 
rather fancy, but also not really much we can do with it. Uh, heavy armor. Armor of the Knight's Divine. Whoa, that's pretty good, but I assume that... Uh, Cassandra's got better than that at the moment. First, 50 stamina amulet. That's pretty amazing. Ooh, it's not far off. My God. Yeah, obviously what we've made her is, you know, strictly bell. Um, but still, my God. Um, what about this, what about this amulet? What's everyone got? Um, you know what? I'm going to give Cassandra the stamina amulet and give ourselves the cooldown modifier, I think. Over 10 constitution. We're not really getting hit, really. It's the other three that are taking more damage than we are. So I think that, I feel like can work. Oh, okay, this, uh... Ah, of course, uh, Fyril's tomb. Fyril's tomb. Get his name right. Um, oh, Scridge, I'm so sorry. I'm such an asshole. Um, yeah. No, it's <laughs> it's the nature of the game, Squidge. Well, you know, it's, I can't. But that, like for example, that dragon wasn't an asshole. That dragon was a nice dragon. Just the door is magically sealed. Um. Ah, okay. Because we missed the the tomb, didn't we? Okay. Um. That. Uh. Key fragments. So what? I kind of want to do this. Um, I swear we went to every tomb already um, and found the the fragments. I better go back and double check. A little bit frustrating, but this was. Um, yeah, I was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah, exactly, Ryan. What? 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 what we, What's an Inquisitor supposed to do? Like, seriously. What we, come on, give us a break. I might even look this up. Um, this might be a, is a Tomb of Fyral. Ah, yeah, it doesn't sound, uh, south of the logging camp. That's not actually, uh, Oh, okay. I just haven't found it. Okay, that makes sense. Because I, I felt like we'd, we'd done of, we'd done all of them. Yeah. There you go. Put put that stuff away, please. Interesting. I just not stumbled across it. Apparently. Very well. Um.
Right. Just south. That's all I've got. <laughs> So maybe I just didn't head enough in this direction. What was she like? The divine, I mean. Was she as pretty as her place? Pretty as her what? <laughs> place with her portrait on. They sold them down the shops in Val Royale. You'd see them on walls a lot. Cost a bundle and you couldn't even eat half of them. Well, part of them. The yellowy brown paint's poisonous. Yep. Had to keep your mash off her eyes. They put most holy's portrait on plates. <laughs> you have to keep <laughs> you have to keep your mash off her eyes. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny to me. Um I ain't seen chisel. I don't Ah, burial grounds. Okay. This is what we're looking for. Just looking for a cave. Ah. Ah, there we go. How did I miss these? I don't, I don't know. Neither here nor there. Um. It's like a whole bloody area. I've just missed. <laughs> uh. Okay, here we go. Oh. There must be something here. Uh, I mean, maybe. There may be something here. There we go, 27 out of 29 bottles. There we go, never mind. Oh, is this where we're... Okay. Wrong quarter here. one here randomly okay this is not really in the cave though so I don't know never mind Interesting rat. Yeah, everyone's it seems to be different like when it comes to hair growth. I um Mine seems to grow indefinitely, almost. It slows down, but I got mine halfway down my back at one point. Um which was uh in interesting to say the least. You know what? This is uh we are doing it outside, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. It's just this cave is outside, so to speak. Um, got to find the right, uh, the right spots here. Uh, all right, and where one brother fell, the other raised bloodied axe in hand alone. Okay, so that's not the start, obviously. <laughs> Uh, just trying to find them all. 
Uh, Five sons built monuments to their father, locking away his great works. That sounds like the start, doesn't it? Yeah, okay, nothing's attacking us, so... Uh, and worked for t together for a time side by side. Each ruf ruled half the tie. Because this sounds like the second one. Yeah. Which each ruled differently. They argued and heated words made the other brothers duel. And then the bloody axe. Okay, so there should be three. And hopefully four. Okay, so... It's a bit different way of doing it. All the other ones we've done of these here are, were like in, actually in the cave. Here it's just outside. We're going to waltz inside and pick up what's there. Yes. Are you objecting? Nah, better us than the Venatori. Think about what's missing in these tombs, though. What? I've got a theory. Let's find the last one. Okay. Uh, 20% crit damage, oh my god. All these pieces of metal inside the tombs we found, they make up a key. Indeed they do. Um, can we quickly get over there? We cannot, can we? Um. Let's head over here then. Um. Nothing to report, sir. It's going up, bro. Uh, yeah, up or down, if, as long as it's going. That's <laughs> that's what matters. But yeah, I I got to tell you this, guys. I um, since a kid, I didn't really have a hair style. Then when I got like I became a teenager, I'd like you know, late nineties, early noughties. Uh, you know, I was uh, what you call yeah. Called, called, yeah, all sorts of names. Alternative kid, I guess. So I had like spiky hair, and then I um, I'm sure you should like gel up and put hairspray on it, and then I would uh, a couple, you know, a little bit after that, I would upgrade it to wax. So I'd like actually put twists in it, that like, much like Pinhead out of the um, out of the uh, what you call it, the uh, Hellraiser movies, or uh, Rob Flynn from uh. Machine Head, if you're familiar with them, look at um, the uh, music video for From This Day, um, like that, you know. Look, yeah, it looks kind of cool, a bit full on and crazy, but you know, cool, I liked it. And then eventually, I was like, you know, I don't need to do this anymore, and I just went to the, the skinhead route. And I probably rocked that for several years, because the beauty of the skinhead is it's. Um, you don't... It, there's no maintenance. Yes, you. if you want to keep it short, you have to cut your hair like once every two weeks or so. Um, but, you know, there's, there's no maintenance. Um, and then... Several years ago, I guess in my little, uh, early 30s, I was like, you know what? I want to fancy growing my hair. I've never had long hair. Let's grow my hair. And it wasn't even really like um, a specific decision. It just kind of like started happening and I just kind of like just went with it. And then by the end, I could say it was like halfway down my back. And then the other thing, long hair looks good. But the longer you hair, the more the maintenance. So it's like, I was like, yeah, let's just, let's just leave this, yeah. So then it was like a couple of years ago, I just cut it all off. Um... Back to the skinhead, and I, I, I doubt I'll grow it out again. I don't really see why I would specifically. Why do they just stop attacking? I don't know. Goodbye, Goodbye indeed. Oh, I don't. Need, I don't even need this. I don't know. I'll mess around with it. Um. So yeah, so that's my hair journey. You had no friends. There's no evidence. So there's uh, <laughs> some advantage to having no friends. Uh, seven. Yeah, 
Yeah, and you should, there's nothing wrong with uh, mixing up rats. You know what I mean? Like, you can't. Nobody can look their best at all times. That's uh, doesn't make sense. You know. Extra homeless. <laughs> but you look, you know, honestly, dude, you look, uh, you look great, you know, regardless. This handsome man is Ryan. Honestly, I'm not coming on to you, Ryan, but or am I? You know, what I'm <laughs> not, not trying to scare him off. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, I, mean, I, I feel it's not like you know, it's not necessarily, um, you know what someone looks like specifically like any anybody can pull off any look it's it's just the eff, kind of the effort uh you put into it i guess does that make sense or well, and you don't even need to you know what i mean you can you know like if people can look rock the like the the hobo look if they're, you know, if you're clean, you've got good hygiene, and you're not, you know, your clothes are not, like, actually dirty. They just look raggedy. That's not necessarily a bad look, do you know what I mean? You can, people can pull that off. Um, now, black lipstick uh, rat is, like, a full-on statement. Uh, it can work really well, but it, it, it's not... There's no subtlety, uh, you know, involved. I mean, <laughs> it's it's a commitment. Um, so I wouldn't say no. I just I would just say consider, and then you know better if it works the rest of your outfit. Then you know, then I would say don't hold back. But it is like quite a, you know, yeah. Less is more with black lipstick. That's yeah. I'm not like you know. An authority on lipstick, I'll tell you that. <laughs> but um yeah, that's my that's kind of my feeling, uh route. Um Yeah, just yes. You don't yeah, there you go, C stars like, oh my god, the confidence required for that. It is. Ben, how you doing, Ben? What's you know, what's your opinion, Ben? Uh, do, do you do you feel confident enough, Ben, to rock black lipstick? Um, how you doing? Uh, never is that, Seven. You've never owned any makeup. Uh, respect. I've only ever owned black eyeliner. And it, it, that was only, like, one stick, probably briefly. Eyeliner lasts a while, do you know what I'm saying? Right, okay, what did we come here for, then, Ball? A Bianca schematic. A very fancy dagger. And uh, you know, a ni nice kind of ring there. And I've never seen a room like this before. Room? Is this what the Venatori were after? Probably. Good job. Earlier you said something was missing from these tombs. Pits, arrow traps, anything to stop us besides a door. They thought the guy buried here was so important no one would ever think of robbing him. <laughs> That's just stupid. I know. It's downright Kunari. Yep. Okay, so it was essentially just random treasure. Um, there you go, excellent. Musical kid. Ah, right, okay. <laughs> um, you never bothered. Nothing wrong with that seven. You know what I mean? Um, you don't, you don't need it. It's uh, you know, I, 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 I probably wouldn't have bothered either. Do you know what I mean? Um. Right, so I think the final thing for us to do is three dragons and then Prix de Leon. I think that's it. I think we've done everything. Ah, uh, right, yeah, we've got shards around here to collect, but... Okay, it's pretty quick for us to go that way, isn't it? Work our way back. Guys, I think I've got to step out here again. Um, so I might just take this off. It's bloody 20 past six already. Um... Make, take this opportunity to make coffee and then we'll uh
We're on a, like, a fairly good schedule here, but uh, it seems like. Um, damn. The hell yeah, right? Yeah, that's fair, right? Yeah, and then you want to wild out a bit. If there's stuff you were not allowed to do when you were a kid, you're like, oh, now I'm an adult. I'll... I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do that thing. <laughs> uh, what you, what you, what you, uh, okay, fair enough. Seven. Well, message me. Tell me, tell me your frustrations. Um, it, yeah, because you got here, Slick, mate. That's where I was getting good. I need to pee. Slick, is that all, do you mind, buddy? Do, do, um, do I have permission? <laughs> do I have permission, sir? Alright. I'll, uh... I'll be right back. Hey! Banished! Welcome back, my friend. Thank you, uh, for dropping the alert. I'm coming back. Uh, keeping that alert going. I'm stepping out for three minutes. Uh, I, wanna, I need to pee, and I'm gonna make coffee. Um, then we get back. We've got three dragons to fight here. Some shards to pick up. Might, might be our final twelve. I don't know. I, seem to, I don't know there's gonna be twelve just in this area, though. I don't know. We just missed some somewhere. And then I think that's going to wrap things up and allow us to basically go and have the final showdown with uh, Corypheus. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, you do mind. Undistracted entertainment. 24-7. No sleep allowed either. <laughs> that's what I did at demand from my sub. <laughs> just, yeah, just super glue me to the chair. Right, that would just... It's not going to end well, folks. <laughs> I'd rather go for the uh, longevity. Let me just say, let me say that. Anyway, bear with me, folks. I'll be right back. Three minutes.
Oh, I sorry, just keep waiting there, crazy kids. Um. What was going on with you meeting there? Root? It's not good. Oh my god, perfect. Yeah, looking forward to seeing that, Root. Nice one. Uh, but anyway, welcome back. Um. Yeah, I know I never coloured my hair. I know some people who did. Um Yeah, and that's the thing. If you want the, the most vibrant colour, you go you, they say you should bleach first, which is not good for your hair in general. And obviously, you know, could be an irritant. But obviously I've no experience of it. Um Right, yeah, that's that's a that's probably the way to go, isn't it, Root? Get the professionals to do it, not do it yourself. Uh Squidge, uh banish, thank you. Um Yeah, yeah. It could might cost some money, but it's gonna be a better better job, you know, finished result. Better end end result, that's the word I'm looking for. Oh, okay, fair enough, Root. See, you know more about this than I do. Most assuredly. Um, all right, here we go into the snow. I've got my hoodie on, I've got my coffee, so we're, we should be fine. All right, here we go. So, we've got a couple of three dragons up here to fight. This is going to be uh, interesting. I feel on some level this architecture doesn't make sense. So, is this some kind of arena? Like Colosseum? Okay. That that makes sense. But one, why, why build one when there's another two over there? Right. And also, why is it like built up in the snowy mountains? Surely this is, should be in like civilization. Does that make sense? I don't really... I just kind of don't really fully get it. Okay, there's a better way to get down to that dragon than just jump on it from, like, 200 feet in the air. Uh... I don't know which is the I think these three around here are pretty tough relative to some of the others we fought, but I've got faith. Oh damn, this looks like a big boy. Uh, uh, another Highland Ravager. Today is a good day. Today is a very good day. The size of his head. I need to drop that on him. Let's cancel that. Whoa. Supposed to be uh, spreading there. Yeah, we were. 
Never mind. Um. Well, so I slapped myself. Come back to us, Sarah. Yeah, this might be the toughest dragon we've fought so far. This is not flying away from us, though. He just seems to be content to just go toe to toe with us in this uh, in this area. Yeah, the whole th it looks like something like Dark Souls or something. Do you know what I mean? It's, it doesn't necessarily make sense in the context of the uh, of the world. Oh, and we've got some buddies come and join us. Oh, spread, spread, guys, spread, spread. Cream on it. Oh. Oof. Yeah, pop those potions if you need them, kids. There we go. Oh, did we get it? Oh, it exploded. 20,000 XP. That might have been the big boy of the, uh, of the whole game, honestly. Damn. Level up. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. Um... Oh, sorry, I need to uh, actually look at this. Uh, oh, what the hell? Duke's Main. Guard Max. Oh, my God. It's very guard belt. Uh, walking Death. Uh, crazy Dagger. Don't really need that. Um, Masterwork and Battle Mage Armor. Wow. Okay, I well, need, need to probably junk some stuff. <laughs> Again, I'm not sure if I, why, I actually need any of this. But <laughs> yeah, what one we're carrying that? That can be destroyed. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, so I'm looking at the helm and the belt for... Uh, I don't know. Mage armor is pretty amazing, but... Yeah, so we've got mage armor, a helm, and um, a belt. Let's have a look. Yeah, pretty amazing, but our own masterwork is uh, is overall superior. Um, right, melee defense and strength. I mean, yeah, we've got overall that's better, so we'll, we'll give that to uh, Cassandra there. That's a lot of um. Not of defense, isn't it? Um, so she's losing. I think that might be it. I think we should probably give that to Sarah. Honestly. So she's losing two points of um, dexterity and eight points of cunning. But she's getting a bit more, def a, a lot more armor rating and a bit more defense. And she was getting slapped around a bit by that guy. So we'll go for that. Uh, and then we've got this uh, belt for. All right, so she's got the belt of health equipped. Um, where is it? Plus 30 guard. I mean, I'm honestly, surely health is actually more useful, I imagine. Okay, cool. Damn, that was... um. That's a big boy there. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, Root. Um maybe they maybe they scale. I don't think they do though. I could be wrong. Oh, that's there's our other two. They're like, oh, yeah. you just you just killed our big brother. We're gonna wreck you. And I'm like, uh, sorry, I'm here to, I'm here to uh, kill your family. I'm so sorry. I'm not mean, not sorry enough to not do it, am I? But you know. Having said that, we might need to even go and rest, honestly. Depending on how tough these are, because we, we used quite a few potions there in that battle. Let's, uh, let's, I'll do a save and we'll give it a go. But if it's uh, a bit too much, we can uh, uh, quick rest and then, you know, take it from there. Oh! Alton's arm. God, look at the... Oh my god, look at the freaking size. It's not the biggest dragon, honestly. And look at the coloration. That blue and red stripe. Oh my god. Clearly uh, a frosty boy. Oh, we got tanked a little bit there. Someone tell Sarah to help herself, yeah? How about we go for that instead? Oh. 
Cassandra, so I'll, just, I'll just take a gigantic hurtling ball of ice to the face. That's fine. That's my job. I don't mind. Balls like, oh, you, yeah, you're trying to show me up over here, Cassandra. <laughs> Imagine if the other dragon came and joined in right about now. I'm a bit of a... It might be a bit of an issue. <laughs> Flying around above us. It might at this rate, I don't know. I think we're um I think we're getting the better of the fight here. Oh, it looks so cool. Oh sorry Sarah, I was gonna try and stick a barrel on you there, but Who's that going for? Is that Sarah again? Oh, don't know what happened to it. Oh. Oh. Is that just graphically glitching out? I don't know. friends. There we go. Uh, weird. And we only got um 3000 3, XP for that one. I enjoy fighting at your side, Bull. Same here, Seeker. But I will also enjoy returning to the base and sinking slowly into a steaming hot bath sprinkled with rose petals. Oh, now you're just being mean. Yeah. I mean roses. Who has sex smelling like roses? Violets or a nice frangipani, maybe. <laughs> uh, uh, oh my god, is it? Are they all getting horny for all this dragon killing? <laughs> oh, Caliban. Unique sword. Damn. I wonder. No, it can't, it can't be. It can't be better, can it? Fancy, fancy prowler armor. Um. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> 
<laughs> screenshot. It's terrible. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's an amazing looking sword. It's just not as good as what we've got already. Um, oh, we're looking at uh, armor potentially. Oh, shizzle. That's actually better, uh, all in all. Um, so she's losing a lot of cold resistance. Uh, losing a touch of dexterity and max health and electrical resistance, but she's gaining magic defense, range defense, a chunk of armor rating, um, sundering when hit, well, that's going to matter on dragons. Um, and abilities cost 20% less stamina if you've not been hit for five seconds, which will be the most of the time for, uh, for Sarah. So that's actually one of the few improvements we found. There you go, Sarah. Enjoy. Interesting. Um, that's everything, though. I'm going to worry about that potion belt. Maybe I should take it if I just junk something. Problem is, I picked up all this extra stuff that I don't really strictly need. Get rid of some of these blues. Oh, no, I don't want to destroy something when we've got equipped. <laughs> That's, uh... Yeah, I, I didn't realise we've got so much crap here. But... There we go. That's freed us up a little bit. Some more level ups in here. My god. Hey! Excellent. I'll have a little look in a minute. Well, not in a minute. After stream, I'll have a little gander. Um, right. Alana, I don't know if there's much that really is that, of that benefit. Um... Lightning bolt. I guess it's good. I want to try and get that, but we're going to finish the game before we get that. But um, I guess we'll go there. Energy barrage. South over elemental blast from your staff for homing on the targets ahead of you. That's kind of cool. Let's go for that. Um, I'm not really using that uh, fade walk thing. Right, what about these kids? I doubt you're going to need that, uh, Cassandra, but we'll give it to you anyway. Uh, critical hits leave enemies weakened. Uh, but a slow effect when you attack them from behind. It's not really hitting people from behind, is he? It's more like... <laughs> he's more kind of like getting up in people's grills, aren't you? On your ball. Um, there we go. I'll do. Oof! Well, that was the whole thing. Um... Seven, of course, they're all on the other side of the uh, maybe not all, but some will be like that. That's three. This always one that's like right by your feet <laughs> and it's like oh you're saying i couldn't really see that before no like, nah, you couldn't <laughs> okay just one more there it is 
Right, okay. Um, seven shards to collect, one dragon to defeat. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. It's the game. It's not me. It's not me, Mr. Dragon. The game's making me kill your brethren. Someone sh getting shouty at us. <laughs> um, I guess I'll maybe just head over to the other dragon. And then we'll... Actually. Yeah, the other dragon's like basically here, isn't it? So it probably make more sense to head for the uh, shards first. Pick those up as we're... Winding our way over. Wind. Wind our way over. I don't want to say. But uh, I'm sure we needed 12. So if this is 7. This will complete the collection in the. Uh... In the Empire de Leon. That means there's still like 5 somewhere. In one of the zones that I've just not collected yet. Which is uh, slightly annoying because it'd, be, it'd be nice to finish the Forbidden Oasis Temple. But I don't know. I'll run my eyeball over it before we uh, wrap up, I guess. I think it's up there. It is. Cool. <laughs> Vertigo. I don't want to fall down there. Okay, we've... Uh, we didn't go through the... <laughs> through, uh, through the stairs. We kind of climbed up the outside, but here we are. Dragon number 10. Vernal. Hello, buddy. Yeah, more, more subtle kind of ice dragon coloration. Yeah, you know, nice... Uh, oh. Nice blues and greys and blacks and whites on him. Doesn't seem to be anywhere near as tough as the previous two we just fought. Oof. Bull. T take that last health juice there, buddy. It's fine. Go for it. Oh, I'm allowing you. Oh, okay. We've got no uh, health patients now. So here's hoping we'll be all right. I should be able to revive peeps as um, 
if I need to, to keep myself alive. getting slapped here. He's getting the ghost in the shell tattoo. Bro, my god. What? Well, very nice. I don't... I'll tell you what, I don't remember the ghost in the shell that much, but I do remember enjoying it. I did enjoy watching it. Um... Oh my god, yeah. I've not got the, uh, the best skin, uh... before tattooing, but it's like... It's not like stopping me get tattooed. You know, any professional tattoo artist should be willing and able to work with anybody's skin. Um, obviously, you know, depending, you know, on your skin tone or if you like me, you're a bit like, my skin's just like, I don't know, raggedy, a bit more on the juicy side. I'm very juicy. I will leak when I'm getting tattooed. <laughs> um, you know, but a professional eyes should, no professional tattoo eyes would, should just dis dismiss you out of hand. They should, you know, or they're not a professional if they do, in my opinion, they will be like, Okay, well, this might be tricky, but, you know, here's what we can do, here's what we can't do, etc. There should be, um... There should, you know, they should be taking the sense of having a duty of care to you. Not all artists do. Some are a bit, you know, a bit dodgy. Oh. So yeah, this is definitely the weakest of the three here, but it seems to be giving us the uh, the runaround the most, so to speak. Bull, oh bull! Come back to me. Can't ride you if you're dead. Jeez, you're so selfish. <laughs> oh no, he died again. <laughs> we uh. Use one of my uh, re revival grenades. Where is he? Where's his, where's his corpse? There he is. There we go. Damn. Dragon Hunter quest completed. Um, that's a nice staff if we were just using random stuff. Uh, that's kind of nice armor. Um... I mean, <laughs> I didn't mean it, Bull. You're not really selfish. He's, he's doing his best. He's doing his best. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, let me have a, just look at that armor. I'm just, I'm just curious. Wow. Okay. I mean... In terms of straight up defense, it is. I mean, she's losing a lot of stuff. I don't know. I don't know what to do. What about, what about you, Bull? Um, 
pure defect armor rate and it is superior. But um they are, they would both be losing a lot of um a lot of damage output. That's the only issue. So I'm, I'm shocked we found something that good. Just as like, just lying around. It's kind of cool. It's a shame we can't make use of it, really. It is what it is. Um, yeah, shack up with a glass cannon. <laughs> Look at you! Look how look how bloody and beaten up you are, silly boy. I can't I can't knock ball. I feel like I've got I've somewhat got you know. <laughs> if I if I were a canary in the Dragon Age setting, I'd probably be a lot like ball. I think. You know, I think we'd like share a lot of uh, common ground. I don't know. Maybe maybe not. Um. All right, so let me just grab these uh, two random shards, I guess. They're over there. Yeah, I don't know. I've, I don't think I've seen any live action anime stuff. I'm. V oh my god! You, some of you guys maybe know, maybe you don't know. Um, there's going to be a, a live action Netflix adaptation of One Piece. Um, One Piece. While not perfect, is beloved to me. Um, at its best, there is no fiction that is greater than it. And that's quite a, 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 a pronouncement there, but you know, and, and the series has been on the go for like you know tw twenty three years now at this point. Um, it's really amazing. Um, but there's a lot of nervous trepidation. Uh, surrounding the uh netflix adaptation um for many many reasons so i won't get into here but i, I i'm not going to judge it until i see it i'm just going to pre prepare myself emotionally and mentally for it to be trash then if it is i'll be oh, okay yeah well you know wasn't really expecting anything else it, it is it's really not very good couldn't really expect anything else red tempest still wandering around idiots <laughs> um but if it is, have, it doesn't have any measure of go goodness to it, then uh, I could be like, oh, yeah, cool, pleasantly surprised. That's how I'm approaching it. I think my friend, uh, you know, Thuggish G-Ray, he's, he's also a massive One Piece fan. And I expect we'll probably watch it together when it comes out. Um, he's, like, expecting it to be bad. Oh. Thank you, Seeker. I'd be happy to teach you. If you had done that in our last sparring match, you might have won. <laughs> then it's time for a rematch. No. Um, I think he's going into it wanting to trash it, which is, you know, that's up to him, isn't it? But, but yeah, I mean, I've heard that the Dragon Ball live action thing was a travesty. Um, I heard that the Death Note, uh, the thing they did recently which is they just condensed the whole of death note just into a movie and was it uh willem dafoe who played ryuk which is cool uh, you know who doesn't like willem dafoe but apparently it was utter trash um yeah I, i'm trying to i can't really think of too many others but it's, it's like, I, I don't know that it's ever happened i oh, wasn't there um a live action attack on titan a little bit ago maybe that was good i don't know probably not it's just it was just probably not <laughs> do you know what i'm saying i'm not like being um a hater but i'm just trying to be like a realist here um okay so a random landmark in the emerald graves we've not found But none of these places have come up with any quests to find uh, any um, any shards. Ah, let's go to the collections. Let's go to some of the shards collections. 
Oh, there's a shard in the wastes we have not found. And there's shards on the coast. On the storm coast. What? How can we be missing four shards? That's like one ocularum, isn't it? And in the wastes, that's just one randomly hanging around. Okay. All right, fine. Let's, uh... Why is there no marker? Oh, my days. What are we going to do about this, folks? Is there seriously an ocularum that's like got that only shows one shard and we've just somehow not seen it, even though we've wandered around the entirety of the freaking wastes? There's a Bleach movie whilst there, Red Mage. You <laughs> just couldn't finish it. Uh... Oh, there's Yu Yu Hakusho was there. Oh, is it, are they making it Sea Star or is it already made? Okay, yeah. I mean, I watched that relatively recently. I didn't grow up with uh, Yu Yu Hakusho. Uh, it was pretty good. But it's like this is this Western idea that everything needs to be live action because that's the lowest common denominator. You know what I mean? If I um if I said to my mum, like, yo, mum, you watch this random movie. If she's not busy, she'd be like, oh, okay, I'll watch a movie. If I'm like, yo, watch this movie, mum, it's animated. She'd be like, oh, what, like Disney Pixar? No, no, it's just like, it's just a car it's a ca cartoon. She'd immediately, like, be biased against it. Do you know what I mean? It's, um, it's sort of obsession with live action, but animation whether it's hand-drawn or, like, uh, computer-generated, you can do more. You can show more. You can literally achieve more. We don't... This, you know, having real human beings pretending to do stuff is... <laughs> that's, like, olden-day shit now, folks. It's just Hollywood's not realised this yet. <laughs> that's the, the olden days. The step into the future, yeah? Should we do that? Should we try it? Um... Root is your mum obsessed with anime? I'm, I wish my mum was. If my mum was coming to me for anime recommendations, because my mum's retired now. She like retired about a year ago, uh, and of course, you know, she's got a cat and she's got um, you know, uh, my stepdad to like, you know, look after, and she and she helps me out with stuff, and you know, she speaks to family and stuff. But she also, you know, has like a decent amount of free time. Um, so I think she watches a lot of like netflix and like just random stuff on amazon uh you know she watches a lot of tv and as long as she's enjoying it but you know if if my mom was like yo i'm, I'm getting into anime i'd be like oh my god that'd be amazing um in a inappropriate cooking anime inappropriate uh the only uh, cooking anime I've seen is uh, Shokugeki no Soma, and uh, I I actually like that. It it um I suppose maybe that may, maybe inappropriate because like that maybe that's what you're referring to. I think it's called I think it translates as food wars. Uh, they're eat, it's like Master Chef the anime. Anyone's not seen it, and uh, as they're eating the food, they're like almost like uh their experience of it as portrayed as almost orgasmic. They're like. Oh, this food! Oh, <laughs> um, it's good. It's good. I recommend it. Um, it's uncomfortable. I don't know what to suggest. Um, no worries, banished. No, yeah, of course, of course, buddy. Now, so you've only the only anime you've seen banished is Attack on Titan. Have so first question I will say, uh, banished. Have you seen it all? You're up to date. I am personally not. I think I've I. I think season four, season three and four in two parts. I know I've seen all of season three, and I thought that might have been the end, but apparently it's like the final season, season four, which is also in two parts. I've not watched that yet. I need to get around to it. Uh, so have you seen it all? And what was your opinion on it? What did you like about it? What did you not like about it? Because here's the thing. I'll tell you this, Banish. Um, while Attack on Titan is great, it's not really to my personal tastes, mostly because... And you could argue this is a strength or a weakness of Attack on Titan. It is the least an uh, is the least anime like of almost all animes I've seen. A lot of anime has like a lot of tropes 
uh, has a lot of archetypes, a lot of, um, you know, s similar story beats depending on stuff. Uh, I feel Attack on Titan, for better or worse, stands on its own. It's not really like anything else. And it, for me, one of the weaknesses of it is very depressing. It's very violent and depressing. It's like, I don't know how it ends, obviously. Um, you know, so, like, some people like that, some people don't. But I can, it depends what you're into, Banish. I could recommend anything any, at all. Yeah, in our, uh, in the Conflux, our Discord, so we can, it's mostly me and Red Mage just being like, Oh! Bleach! <laughs> but yeah, it's, um, one, th one genre of anime that's very appealing to me, Banished, is what they call shonen. Now, shonen directly translates as just under 18, I guess. Like, so kids anime. But it's like, um, you, even if you've not seen Dragon Ball, you're probably aware of, like, Dragon Ball. It's like battle anime uh, aimed at a younger audience. And the, the famous ones are Dragon Ball, uh, Naruto, Bleach, uh, One Piece, uh, other more less renowned ones like Fairy Tale, uh, Black Clover, uh, and, you know, and various other ones. Um, I'm a fan of those in general. Some are better than others. Uh, like I say, One Piece is my one true love. Um, uh, I'd say D Death Note is probably a very popular and very worthwhile watching anime, Banished. Um, it is also quite dark and depressing story, but um, and you're probably familiar with the name Death Note. That's that would be a good place to start. I'm also a fan of like um slice of life, or like slice of life sports anime, um which are like obviously real life settings, usually set in Japan but not always modern day setting, and it will focus on characters like trying to get good at sports or just kind of like trying to survive high school and stuff like that. Some people are like like my my friend uh, Thuggish G Ray, he's like he doesn't watch that. He needs his anime to be like pure fantasy, um. You know, uh, he's not. You know, he's he's like a slice of life. What's the point of watching that? But some of the best anime I've watched is Slice of Life. Um, another shonen one, my second favorite of all time, My Hero Academia. Uh, Boku no Hero Academia um, is uh, basically imagine Marvel's Avengers, but they're school kids learning to be superheroes. It's amazing. I rec fully recommend that. Um, but yeah, we can we can definitely find you something that will suit your tastes, uh, Banished, if you're willing to, you know, talk to us and have us w work with us to find something for you. Um, yeah, One Piece is a relationship. One Piece is over a thousand episodes and is 23 years in the making with no end in sight. Uh, <laughs> Studio Ghibli is um, also a good time. God, it's definitely its own vibe, isn't it, Squidge? But yes, we share many, many different things we could suggest to get you started, Banished. Um, yeah, it's over 1,000. It is, Red Mage. I don't know. Uh, it's my favourite thing, but I'm just I'm concerned as the time goes on. Will it wrap up to my personal satisfaction, or even if not to my personal satisfaction, the overall satisfaction? Will it do itself justice, even if I feel they've left things on the table? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Um, yeah, there's also a lot of, uh, you know, uh, an emotional, uh, ones. Yeah, Silent Voice. Yeah, you recommended that, uh, Red Mage. I've not got around to that yet. Um. Okay, well, if you enjoy it, Banished, that's, um, I feel like it's its own thing, Attack on Titan. It's kind of middle groundy. Because it's got, uh, although it is kind of dark and depressing and violent, it does have like a good cast of, uh, you know, young, uh, willful characters that, you know, and their relationships between them. It's very serious, though, I feel. It's like super serial, is Attack on Titan. It's not, there's no light heartedness in it at all. Which are even the most serious of other um, anime will have some degree of lightheartedness to it um mm. indeed indeed and that's the thing c star i agree with that 
it is its own just art form and if you like the art form i, I can watch anime about any old random crap i might not be like fully into it depending on what it is but there is, is is it definitely is its own art form that is very appealing to me and it, a lot of people there either like it or they don't like it um so there's no really getting around it um ninja scroll N ryan ninja scroll was one of my two very first animes i got into back in 96 i um we we lad i uh i watched um i think the very first one was fist the movie of fist of the north star which is insane and violence <laughs> um like, like people's heads exploded and stuff uh and then closely followed by ninja scroll the movie and that, that was it my tiny little mind was blown ryan i was like I, I never dreamed that there was cartoons out there that were not only aimed at adults uh as as deep and involved as any um hollywood action movie um drama hollywood you know action drama movie and and it was exploring ideas that i'd never seen come out of hollywood and i was like my god i didn't I, what japanese cartoons that are just like f absolutely full-on more interesting and more involved than any any like just western movie my god obviously back in the 90s it's kind of hard to you know so over the next 10 years my consumption of anime was very limited um but yeah that kind of you know once you start you just you're like i'm, I'm hooked now um uh jewel masters oh, oh uh, Yu Gi Oh. yeah we've got some uh Yu Gi Oh fans around here uh i've never seen uh Yu Gi Oh uh banished but uh mike um might be our resident expert uh, yeah he's uh but yeah um i can give you a link uh banished if you just want to like to a couple of websites that could be useful one to find it to download and watch uh and one just to like um my anime list that's kind of like a database of all anime and it kind of um kind of just uh it tells you like the new ones that are coming out and like the release dates and stuff so that could be a good option just if you look at the newest ones that are coming out um and see you know give you like a little synopsis maybe you see like a few uh screenshots or whatever just that you see you know, a brief impression of the art style uh and just see what takes your fancy you know they cover every genre you know fantasy sci-fi horror slice of life you know what anything you could romance you know anything you can imagine there will be an anime for um that's the thing I, I for example i don't like sports really i'm not really into sports for the most part i like martial arts but your general sports i'm not into but if you take a sports anime it suddenly becomes interesting because that i know um the what the art style uh the art the medium of anime has to offer and what they can do with that so you know i've watched basketball anime i've watched uh you know uh, baseball anime <laughs> and i've got no interest in those sports in real life but you know it's almost like um the sport is the medium to tell a story and to explore relate characters and relationships and uh anyway that's my little rant there um so yeah i'll send you a couple of links buddy uh if you you know to get you started ah yeah i, I never uh i never watched that uh ryan i think i saw bits of the spawn cartoon i'm a, I'm a big fan of the spawn uh comic book it is very good robotech yeah i never saw that uh red mage but i know the name people have mentioned it to me um yeah you know, pokemon absolutely counts squidge yeah i've never sat down and watched all of pokemon i've only seen random episodes here and there that could be on the cards at some point um yeah sea star you you hacker shows uh, was i think was a uh, very popular around that the early 90s obviously that was a, just slightly before me and we didn't really have access necessarily um but i watched it relatively recently probably about a year ago and yeah is it it holds up yeah sailor moon i've seen a little sailor moon sailor moon is metapod's all-time favorite and uh steph baby's also a fan of sailor moon too um Mm, excellent you gotta love it the, that underground tv was around there ryan um 
Yeah, Biker Mice from Mars and Ninja Tales. <laughs> um, yeah, that, my only regret is um, not regret. The 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 Teenage Mutant Ninja Tales could have they could I would love to see have seen like a darker version of it with like more actual ninjury rather than like a uh, dumbed down kids western cartoon. There could be definitely been an adult version of the Ninja Turtles where it is literally ninjas as in you know throats getting slit you know <laughs> make it real dark you know what i mean I, I don't i think that could work really well um but yeah um yeah you know it's like make um yeah <laughs> you know you know it's sea star i could be the best character uh yeah it's probably my favorite of the the four um Yeah, I've never seen that Red Mage, uh, Gurren Lagann. Uh, I know, um, I know it's like quite fairly rated, like a classic. Um, yeah, me too. Banished. I'll gr yeah, I was well into uh, Ninja Turtles when I was a kid. Uh, I'd like some of the action figures and everything. Um, Anyway, sorry, we've been ranting about anime, but that's fine. That's what we're here to do. So I don't know, um, what should we do? So, uh, what was the, what was the other zone they said? The Storm Coast? I've, yeah, so I've just completely failed to find some shards. I think we're going to have to skip it, guys. Here's the thing. Um, if we don't do the, the temple in the Forbidden, um, Oasis from do, getting all the shards... We haven't actually, all, all, I assume all it's going to do is go, here you go, have some awesome gear. And I'm going to be like, oh, wow, that gear's awesome. But it's not as good as what we've currently got. <laughs> so I think it's time to wrap this up now, basically, folks. Oh, nice. It's fun as hell, is it, Red Major? Right, I'll stick on the list. Wow, I can't, just, that's that is one thing I'll say. Banished, um, like Red Mage jokes about. It's a joke. He actually, I think he actually bothers them. Like, <laughs> like the backlog, the backlog of video games. Um, you can never play all the video games. You just have to kind of let let that go. Uh, anime's the same. Even if they stop making anime right now, there's too much for you to go back and literally watch. It's, it's a very extensive medium and you just have to pick and choose just just pick something that seems cool to you and you watch that and then whether it is um, the best thing you've ever seen or you weren't really into it uh but you kind of enjoyed it then you've got like that knowledge and you can pass it on and talk to people about it and then you know it's all good um you can't watch it all you can't keep up with it um you know some some fans do try to keep up they'll keep with again we talked about this yesterday uh they'll keep up with what is the newest thing that's coming out and they'll stay on top of what is current and they'll just watch that and they'll which which is fine and that's a good way to do it you just won't have time to go back and watch any of the old stuff i mix it up i will have something on the go at all times um and then you know I, I'm usually watching a single episode of... <laughs> I'm watching something called Black Clover at the minute, which is um kind of a, a B-tier shonen anime from uh, a couple of years ago. So 170 episodes, which is a lot for your average anime. Uh, not a lot for a typical long-running shonen. Um, and it, uh, it's, it's all right. I'm about 30 episodes in. So that's another 140 episodes to go. So I might finish in about another six months uh, <laughs> at my current rate. And that's fine. You know what I mean? I'll, as long as I enjoy it, I get something out of it. Um, that's that's literally all that matters. Uh, right, okay. I want to stash all this stuff because I don't really need it now, I don't think. I think we're suitably geared. That's the thing. Those dragons are nowhere going to be near as tough as uh 
as dealing with Corypheus, I assume. Yeah, it's quite it's quite good, Red Mage. It's like it's like a standard fantasy setting about wizards, but it's like a, it tries to be a bit more like I should say realistic. I don't know if that's the right term, a bit more a bit more realistic than say um, the over the top almost silliness at times of um, a fairy tale. I do like fairy tale. Uh, I'll, I'll need to go back and finish that one day. Um, but it's. It's, it's very much a product of its inspirations. It's clearly inspired by all the classics. Um, and it uh, doesn't necessarily... You know, it's just not as good. <laughs> I mean, hey, hey, look, this is just the 30 episodes in. It might get, like, amazing by the end of it. I don't know. Diana wished to speak with you, Inquisitor. It seems rather urgent. A pleasure. I was just trying to chat you up, um, Josephine. I feel like we sh should have like one last conversation with people as we're about to. Well, you can talk to people after the fact, can't you? Okay, let's speak. Go and speak to Lel at least, because apparently she's looking for us. But I feel for like people like Dorian. We've kind of like ran his uh, the extent of all of his conversations. Into the ground. May I have a word? Yeah, of course, can. I notice you've paid Lady Montelier quite a number of compliments. Uh. You found me out, by Master. An entanglement with our ambassador seems most unwise. I asked Josephine to join the Inquisition because we needed a diplomat, not so she could be toyed with. Who says I'm toying with her? I enjoy being with Josephine. I'm not trying to break her heart. Then I would be more cautious. Josephine is no stranger to courtly intrigue. But love? There she's an innocent. She has no idea you are truly attracted to her. If indeed you are. Um. I'm not attracted to her. That's not true. That's private. And if I am, it's nothing serious. Hmm. Erica? How you doing there, Erica? You are my dear. Neither has Josephine. Her heart is easily carried away. I want to be sure it's taken by It's appropriate. Talking about love, Erica comes in. So, if you see anything towards Josephine, I want to know. Okay. Yeah, I'm, in, I'm into her. Is that a, it's not a problem, is it, Lel? Yes. I'm very attracted to Josephine. Is that so? Yes. Whatever is between you. I ask that you treat her with kindness, for her sake, as well as yours. Wow, Leliana's literally like you, you, you uh, hurt my friend's feelings. I will kill you, and <laughs> Um. Whatever happens, I'm glad to see Josephine has a concerned friend here. <laughs> I have so few true friends these days. Those that are left, I deeply cherish. I will not trouble you any further, but I do watch over my friends. Good day, your worship. It's all right. Don't worry, Lel. God, Jesus. We're probably not going to have time to seal the deal before the uh, end of the game, so don't panic. God damn it. We're just just trying to just trying to get along with everyone. I mean, that's all we're trying to do. Anyway, but I'm very well, Erica. How are you, my dear? You're on a breakout at the moment. You're super tired. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you're super tired. I'm not pleased about that. But you're hanging in there. I hope you are. Lovely, Erica. Um, Twitch fix for there. Well, thank you for stopping in to see us. Little old us. Uh, I, uh, I'm i honoured. Thank you. Um, but yeah, um, what am I ranting on about? I don't know. What am I ranting on about? Just, uh... Leliana was like, if, you know, just... You got a, you ever had a friend, Erica, and then someone's like trying to hit on them, and you're like, "Oi, don't you be playing games with my friend's feelings." It's just one of those situations. That's all. Well, we, we've got stuff to do, so which is called complete the game. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, let's pretend let's pretend people don't love it. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you're well, Erica. 
I hope life is treating you uh, well. Yeah, say star. Yeah, um, Erica's got some excellent emotes. We've got another perk, have we? Okay. Get through our exclusive training, shall we? Let's do that. Um, right, so these are finished. I don't know if it's even worth uh, sending anyone out on these, but... Learn more about dragons. I mean... I don't know, is it... A little late for that? <laughs> is it a little late for that? I don't know. I don't know. Because here we go. This is it, folks. We are... Doom upon all the world. Griffius, we're coming to wreck you. 241 power. It's going, going surplus at the end of the game. Not needed you for anything. Find what you need, Morrigan. I Crazy. can match the dark spawn magister's dragon. Yes. Oh. As for matching Carifus, Can you? Can you, Morrigan? Is up to you. Yeah, if you take care of the dragon, Morrigan, we'll slap the absolute shizzle out of Carifus. We'll, we'll uh, turn his uh his, his squished it face. The is you know he doesn't seem to care. i mean one thing you can respect about Criff is he doesn't care what he looks like um i'm eager to try then all that remains is to find Corypheus before he comes to us we've been looking for his base since all this began with no success his dragon must come and go from somewhere oh what about the deep roads we could send word to orsamar a higher envoys too Eric, that ghost is amazing. I like that. <laughs> it seems Corypheus is not content to wait. He's in the Valley of Sacred Ashes. You either close the breach once more, or it swallows the world. But that's madness. Wouldn't it kill him as well? He is mad, though, isn't he? Inquisitor, we have no forces to send with you. We must wait for them to return from the Arbor Wilds. Then I face him alone. Don't know if we're going to have a time to... I guess we'll stick with Bull as he's geared to the gills. Uh, I don't know if we'll have time to uh, start a new game today. Um, once we've got through this and uh, done the cutscenes and things. But we could probably... You can, if you guys are around uh, for the end of the stream, we could probably do a vote on what the next game is. And I'll, we'll talk a little bit about them. The options. teacher magic i mean i would say i would agree with that statement erica you do have teacher magic um make of that what you will uh <laughs> um i'll do oh my god you got them trained bless bless you yeah yeah erica's a teacher guys if you're not uh picked up on that she teaches the, the youngsters. Good, good on you, Erica. My God. Do, doing the Lord's work. Um, look at me. I'm just playing video games, talking nonsense. <laughs> that's that's my. This is my work. <laughs> um, but yes, I'm sure they appreciate your magic, uh, Erica, as I do. You're dropping some red lyrium around near us. Cheeky swan. Tell me, where is your maker now? Call him. Call down his wrath upon me. You cannot, for he does not exist. Just because he's not responding I doesn't mean he doesn't Christ. exist. I shall deliver you from this lie in which you linger. Bow before your new god and be spared. No. Never! Yeah. Tell him. Respect. 
Oh no, Scout Hardin, are you alright? Oh my god. He's just like, yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna have some floating mountains. That's what we're that's what we're doing at the minute. You have been most successful in foiling my plans, but let us not forget what you are. A thief in the wrong place at the wrong time. An interloper. So disrespectful. We shall prove here, once and for all, which of us is worthy of godhood. <laughs> You're not proving anything by talking. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh, oh, you got me there. I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> Oh, a dragon just grabbed the other dragon. Has Morrigan turned into a dragon? You dare. Yes, you're trying to destroy the world, buddy. Of course we dare. A dragon. How clever of you. It will avail you nothing. You will fall as a warning to those who oppose my divine will. Enough. I will destroy you where you stand. Um, we'll see, buddy. We'll see. We'll, we'll be seeing about that. Oh, where'd he go? As you wish. Oh, oh, up here. We're going. Okay. Look at you, wearing slave markings on your face with pride. You are nothing. A race of sniveling cowards that shrank before to fit our power. You're just an asshole. What do you, what do you want me to... What, I must have... <laughs> Did you know what I mean? <laughs> what, what point are you trying to make, buddy? Enough. I will destroy you where you stand. I don't know, boy. I don't know. You're trying, but you... Proof, the proof's in the pud pudding, so they say. He's, uh, he's very chonk. Let me tell you that. There's no, no doubt about that. Get some sword on him. Oh, I'm gonna slap around. Where's he gone now? We're we chasing him up here. All right. He's he's uh. Oh. Okay. Supply cash. I don't know if that's uh, necessary. I guess we uh, might as well go for it. Oh, we got a level up. I didn't even notice. My God. Okay. Um, that's our thunders. Yeah, I think that's what I was going for, wasn't it? Um, You, uh, you, you guys know more about it than I do, obviously. Here we go. We're having a proper fight now, buddy. You stopped uh, retreating. I 
shall sear you from the very heavens. <laughs> As you wish. I shall sear you from the very heavens. The pike shall hold your head before the gates of the Grand Cathedral, Seeker. Yeah. We shall and if that's see true. about that. I assume that is Morrigan transformed into a dragon rather than just her dragon buddy she just pulled out of her pocket. Uh, there we go. Oh no, she's bleeding. Oh no, Morrigan. Don't be all beaten up. I I have not, Erica. I don't really watch movies and Sea Star thinks I'm an, a weirdo <laughs> before it. I don't know if I've seen the original uh, Hocus Pocus and St. Monsters. Oh no, Erica's about to freak out now. She's like, what are you even talking about, you weirdo? Uh, oh, I'll find the, the dragon now. Okay, let me get this hydration first. The unfollow button. <laughs> I know, I'm, a, I'm a, a disgrace to humanity, Erica. I, I would hope you would have realised realized this by now. Excellent. Thank you, my dear. Yeah, I think a, a lot of people are. I'm just... I'm just a weirdo. I might actually um, drop uh, our focus on it. Yeah, it's not like in that at all. I mean, they did loads of damage. Okay. Was that the bit of Corypheus' soul that was in it? It was, wasn't it? Let it end here! Let the skies boil! Let the world be red to sunder! Yeah, that sounds great. That sounds great, Corypheus. Let's just destroy everything. That'd be fun. That'd be fun living in nothing. <laughs> just, yeah. Out, Albert Wesker, isn't he? <laughs> Worms. No, I will not allow you this victory. You and all the heathen barbarians shall burn. <laughs> okay. The breach is getting bigger. It will endanger the world. We oh. must stop this. Oh God. <laughs> Agreed. Let's go. Get in there, folks. Slap him. Can I not do something with that? Or do something with that?
need only moments more. Good, because you're about dead, buddy. Give me that. I just need to dissolve and the anchor. Let's say, has I got the job done? gone oh dear now all these like castle walls and ruins i assume this is not actually S skyhold being torn to pieces is it that balcony looks familiar though. uh <laughs> this is just like ran some random buildings that were like nearby or something Glue it back sure? together? We could take the pieces, try to... That would not recover what has been lost. Inquisitor, are you alive? I am Cassandra. Thank you for caring. Everyone else seems to be. Morgan's looking a bit worse for wear. Victorious, I see. What a novel result. Mm -hmm. And it seems the breach is finally closed. Looks that way. What do we do now? Have a have a break for a start. Put your feet up. Get in the shower. Make a nice cup of tea. We go back to Sky Hall. Yeah. All right, ch just chill out for a minute. Take a breath. And then uh, do whatever we want. Get, get on the get on this orgy. Where, where's this orgy? It's not been forthcoming, that's it. <laughs> okay, that was uh, quite a fun yeah group celebration. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it's a celebration. As long as everyone's having a good time, no, no one's, you know, no one's like being forced to do anything. I don't see a problem with it. Um, Bull would be down. I don't think I don't know anybody else would. But I mean, balls are like a one-man party, isn't he? So it's like, you know. Yeah, okay, it wasn't Skyhold. Thank God for that. <laughs> Let's
We did good. Okay, save the day, save the world. For now. A moment, my lady. My agents have found no trace of Solus. He has simply vanished. Okay. He, he just upset the orb got destroyed. To be found, there's likely nothing we can do. But I will keep looking. Very well. He had no reason to stay. That's not important. Um, can't, I mean, it's, yeah, is it worth putting so many resources on it? Maybe not, but maybe it's not that many resources. Um, it's weird that you, yeah, it is strange that he would, not strange that he would leave. He'd be like, oh, we've saved the world. Crifus is destroyed. The breach is sealed. Goodbye. But he didn't even say goodbye. He literally just like, <coughs> he's, he's, he shuffled on out of there. Um, it's odd that he would just leave without a word. Yeah. You said he was upset about the orb. Yeah, that but... That can't be the only reason. Yeah, why would... What, you know... It's got to be more now to it. Now that Corypheus has been defeated, we have a moment to stop and celebrate. Afterwards, you will be busy. Every noble in southern Thedas is clamoring to meet you. <laughs> I mean, yeah, um... Oh, now they're lining up to meet me. Such is the way of things. Previously, you were an upstart, a Dalish elf leading a band of rebels and heretics. Until Corypheus revealed himself, they could not see the single hand behind the chaos. Once he did, they knew. A magister and a darkthorn in one creature, the ultimate evil. Now you are the only power left standing. Enjoy the evening while you can, Inquisitor. Are we just catching up with everyone, maybe? It's very reminiscent of uh, the first game, isn't it? <laughs> Cullen just stood on his own, like, oh, I, don't, I don't know what to do. Corypheus is definitely gone. I was there. Yeah, that's what we said last time, but... stories they're telling in the barracks. The pride in their voices. Some of the soldiers have requested leave to return home, but many would follow us still. You are proof that the Inquisition has made a difference, and that we will continue to do so. I'm glad to hear it. There's still work to be done. For once, I'm willing to leave it till tomorrow. I should let you mingle. I'm sure everyone desires your attention. Enjoy the party, Inquisitor. Very well. Uh, that's funny. <laughs> we can open the door, but there's a guard stood there who's like, no, you can't you can't go through here. I'm like, I'm in charge. This is my castle, bro. Let me let me through. <laughs> it'd be fun it'd be it'd make more sense if there wasn't a guard. Or if you just couldn't open the door. Or even both. Uh, see, like that, that door there. Anyway. Black wall. How you doing, bro? Now that you've saved the world, what's next? Hoping to put it all back together? It'll be a huge undertaking. If anyone can do it, you can. If you ever need my help, you know where to find me. I'll be ready. You're a good man, Black Wall. Sorry I kind of... You know, played with your feelings a bit, but, you know. Gotta do what we gotta do. That was the Tevinterest Vint in the history of all Vints. <laughs> the original mold from which subsequent Vints were cast. Indeed. And I got to help kick the shit out of him. <laughs> Good times, boss. Good times. There's no one I would have rather had at my side, Bull. Same here. I got to kill another dragon and fight a vint. Those poor bastards on the ground had demons. 
It's weird. I joined the Inquisition under orders from the Ben Hasrath and stayed because Corypheus was an asshole. Now that it's done, I've got no orders. For the first time in my life, I can go wherever I want. I wish you luck. Yeah. You can't beat staying here. Um, I'm going to try and uh, get him to stay. I want him to stay, but he can stay. It's up to him. What do you want to do? Where do you want him to do? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, stay hey, here for now. The only place I'm going tonight is back for more drinks. To us, Respect. being alive, and the bad guys not. Ah, Anan. Agreed. What's, what's this they're eating? There's like a whole, whole pig on the table there. It's not even on a plate. What the? F what kind of savages are we here? <laughs> the Inquisition. Just, here you go. The table's clean enough. Just there you go. Just tear off a bit if you want. You know? <laughs> I've been starting to think about putting all this into a book. Right now I'm thinking, this shit is weird. The Inquisitor Lavellan story. Oh, this shit is weird. <laughs> title. Um. I'm glad you've gone back to writing. Well, nothing certain until it's in print. I still haven't decided if I should do this book. As if... Anyone will believe this story if I tell it. Not to mention, I'll have my hands full with reconstruction and relief efforts in the free marches as soon as I get back. Mm. Um, yeah, I shouldn't tell him he needs to stay here. Yeah, just write your book, buddy. You should write the book. You can do that. Other people can help with relief efforts. I'm not leaving for a while yet, though have to get in at least one game of wicked grace before I go. Of course. Surely to win back some of his dignity. Well, if you're going to stay until uh, that happens, Varric, you're going to be uh, you're going to be here a little while. Hey, doing so Cole. Many people died. More still are hurting. They need help. It seems wrong to celebrate, but I want to. The part of me that's me needs to after all this. The servants are drinking. Some of them are drinking while lying down. No. Do you have any interest in joining them? I don't know. Not now. It makes things more complicated. And I'm not ready. Someday. Maybe. What happens next? Where do we go? Um, so we've got stuff to the do. The position is just getting started. Yes. Because of you. Thank you for letting me stay. I was passing through the hall this morning and a serving girl saw me and squealed. Nope. Actually squealed, dropped her laundry and everything. Such a mess. She was completely breathless. You were at the battle with the evil one, weren't you? I didn't <coughs> even get a chance to answer. She hugged me. Hugged me. <laughs> this is your influence. That's what happens when you're a hero. Is that so? Must be why it's so unfamiliar. Mind you, I can't say I hate the notion of being the good to Vinter. I suppose you can't all be evil bastards. The blacksmith said that, and he spat when we first met. No. Nope. I hope my father hears. He will shit his small clothes from shock, I swear. No, excellent. Um. I appreciate everything you've done for us. So you should. Being appreciated is a nice change of pace, though. I'm also pleased to come out of it alive. I wasn't expecting that. You thought you'd die. Didn't you? The hero dies in all the best stories. Anything else just sounds so implausible. I've decided to stay with the Inquisition. For now. All right, cool. Devinta lacks the presence of my best and only friend. It'll keep. Very well. Never have hired new caterers so late. Leave it be, Josie. Everything's fine. 
It is not. I'm so put your put your pad put your should. notepad down for a minute, Josephine. I'm not sure about them. If you don't pause for a moment, your heart is going to stop. At least I'd be spared another incident. <laughs> what a disaster! Hey, Ben, Fallen Sleuth, how you doing, bro? Just want to keep right there. It's going good. How are you doing, sir? Welcome in. Just completed Inquisition. Do you know what everyone is talking about tonight, from commoners to kings? Us. Thedas is discussing the success of the Inquisition. Yeah. Uh. We deserve each and every compliment. Yes, I rather think we do. Truly, we will never forget those we lost. But for tonight, to victory. Indeed. Indeed. Yeah, how's it going, Ben? You right there, sir? It's good to see you stream the other day, bro. Um, thanks to Balthier for sending us over to you. Um, I, I appreciate that. It's always nice to get uh, someone to redeem a raid. But yeah, welcome in, bud. Um, yeah, it's, God, it's been like... This is our 17th stream on the game, so... Uh, not the longest game we've streamed on the, the channel, but, um, you know, I do like the chunky old, uh, uh, you know, RPGs, but, um, you yeah, know, you get to a point where you're like, okay, let's, uh, time to move on. Uh, but yeah, it's been an excellent experience. I'm glad uh, our producers, uh, voted for it. Enjoying the refreshments? Josephine sent all the way to the capital for the Petit Four. Did she? And there are so many. Which should I try first? I would avoid the dark ones topped with gold dust. Deep mushroom and anise. Oh. An awful combination. But it's quite popular in Val Royale. I believe they call it the exquisite misery. What? Ole. That sounds awful. Why did we save her again? <laughs> to you, Inquisitor. For all you've done. I could have some little cake right about now. <laughs> uh, Cassandra, how you doing? can't believe it's over. It seemed an impossible task. Defy the Chantry, build the Inquisition from nothing, defeat a creature that would be a god. And yet here we are, celebrating. Yeah, well, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's worth celebrating. So we should be. Defeating Corypheus was no simple task. He was so confident of his power, he could not conceive of mm, Indeed. If he could, he would never have challenged me. No! And he would have gone into hiding. Yes, it worked out far better this way. I intend to rebuild the Seekers of Truth. To make us the order we were meant to be. That will take time. Meanwhile, I am free to remain with the Inquisition. I think back to how we first met. And here you stand. You are the Inquisitor, a symbol of hope and change to so many, and you are my friend. How did that happen, I wonder? I'm pleased it did. You are a great woman, and I will always stand at your side. Well, back at you, Cassandra. You're not too bad yourself, you know. Um, um, mm, yeah, we'll be discussing that in a minute, uh, Ben. Um... Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, how did you get on, uh, uh, yeah, well, first let me ask this, buddy, uh, do you prefer Ben or do you prefer Sleuth, uh, or, f or do you prefer Fallen, uh, when we, when you are being addressed on Twitch, um, I should probably confirm that first, uh, and, uh, how did you get on with, uh, Resi, um, I've not, pl I've not played, um, the number three remake, uh, unfortunately, I've played number the number two remake, and that is a fantastic game. I've heard mixed things about number three, in that it was arguably a little bit of a cash in on the on the coattails of the second game, um, because graphically and mechanically it's exactly the same, but it's like I've heard it's kind of somewhat on the short side. Um, but it looks fantastic. What I saw you playing of it. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, I was just curious, uh, uh how you're getting on with it. Uh, Vivian, how you doing? So much to do, my dear. 
I've already contacted my tailor in Val Royale. I have nothing at all appropriate for a divine's coronation. Yeah, that's not been resolved course, yet. Nothing is final until the vote. But whispers from the Grand Cathedral are confident. But that will wait. Are you enjoying the celebration? Josephine was in a frenzy arranging it. Of course. Um I'm enjoying it. Fact, I need some more of that cake, though. And well you should. It's a miracle we survived this ordeal. Go mingle. Okay, so me, let's get rid of this, this freaking bot here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember you uh, I remember you mentioned that. Um Fallen is best. There we go. Excellent. Yeah, Fallen, I I uh I yeah, I, I remember you saying that on your stream the other day. Um yeah, um, the remake of Resident Evil 1 is... You can make an argument it's the best in the series just because it's... Um, I feel it's... Obviously, for a few different reasons. One, it's the original game. Or rather, it's the definitive... In my opinion, the definitive version of the original game. And it's also kind of blends the new school between the old school. It's got that old school vibe, but where it's got like, you know, much improved graphics. It's, you know, the gameplay is like, it's a classic gameplay, but it's, it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's got more kind of a modern convenience to it. And, you know, it's, it, you know, looks good, you know, I, I could, it's, it's in my top three, my top three, uh, Resident Evil games of my personal three favorite are the remake of Resident Evil 1, the remake of Resident Evil 2, and Resident Evil 4. Um, and I obviously 4 is kind of like the... You said you liked it, but it's not one of your favorites. You know, for me, I, I think it's uh, been the first kind of action orientated uh, rather than survival horror uh, orientated Resident Evil it is a step away from the roots, but um, I really like it. I think it works really well. I think from that point on, maybe they went off the rails a little bit with... They're like, oh, that was popular. Let's go more in that direction. And it's like, hmm. Five's still good, but I feel it's significantly inferior to four and six. I don't know if you've played six at all, Fallen. It's... um. We've played most of the Resident Evil games on this uh, channel and... Six is overall my least favourite that we've played for many, many reasons. Um, um, ah, excellent. Yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah, I remember just bumping into it and like, oh, it's a Resident Evil 4. I was in the game shop one day. I was like, Resident Evil 4? What the, what the hell? I, just, I think I got it on PS2 and I was like, yeah, let's give this a go. I was not disappointed. Um, uh, yeah, no. Yeah, of course. Yeah, the thing, if, if I had access to it for and I would uh, I would play it right away. I just I've never I've just never owned it and um Yeah, I'll wait for it to be on like come on Game Pass or something It'll be on sale, do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, so I've um we've played seven. Seven is excellent. A lot of people don't like that the first person new vibe. I really enjoyed uh, Resident Evil Seven. Maybe not as much as some stuff you know, some of the games that came before. But I really did enjoy it. I've not played Village, and Village seems to be, from what I can tell, it does everything that um, Seven did well, and you know, ramped it up an extra notch. So uh, I'm sure we'll um, get around to it eventually. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he uh, he's very good at punching boulders. Uh, Red Mage, his his skeleton is made of uh, steel, apparently. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, Ryan. I mean, I don't want to say trash. But, I mean... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like I said, no, like, I just don't want to say trash. I just don't want to say it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, yeah, you couldn't get into it falling. Yeah, no. Uh, it's e easily skippable. Um... But you loved Village, did you, Ryan? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure we'll get to it at some point in the future. 
Um, so, have we spoken to everyone? We're just going to sit on our seat, are we? And be like, we are the badasses of all badassery, you know? Oh, return to our quarters. Okay, we've got to go, go to bed. Oh, we didn't speak to Sarah. Sorry, Sarah. Skipped on you. No paying their respects, sorry. So you can, um, you, after this cutscene is wrapped up, you're still in the game. You still go and get those shards. You still run around in the wilderness. Just fight the dragons, which we obviously we, we've already beaten them, so. Dun, dun, dun. Is that, that's it, I think. That's the, uh. It is said that Corypheus oh, woke after his long Morgan. slumber and found the world gone awry. He fought to bring back those days of magic and shadow, to raise himself as a god and set things right. Now, we are left with a scar in the sky to remind us of what almost was. It tells us that a great victory against chaos was won, but left the world forever changed. Consider the mighty empire of Orlay, where Gaspar has ascended to the Golden Throne. His rule continues only so long as he bows to the will of Riala, the first elf to be granted titles and lands. Soon, new rights are granted to elves throughout the land. Plans are made to tear down alienage walls. That's good. The Emperor chafes under her command, yep. but can do nothing. Even as an alliance of nobles considers open rebellion, they hesitate only because they fear the alliance between Briala and the Elven Inquisitor, and perhaps also because they yet respect the Inquisition. For now, the Empire remains at peace. Good. The Grey Wardens of the South slowly rebuild in the months following the events at Adamant. They declare it time for the Order to emerge from the shadows, to join the rest of humanity in fighting their ancient foes. Rumors abound that they severed ties with their leaders at Weishaupt, and that a bitter war now rages between them. What becomes wow. of Stroud is unknown, save that all news out of Weishaupt soon ends. Does the sudden silence indicate a battle within, or something? Far worse. So that will be revealed in uh, One month after Dragon Age 4. Corypheus, <clears throat> the Chantry shocked the world by naming Vivian as successor to the Sunburst throne. Vivian? Given the name Interesting. Divine Victoria, she is the first mage to hold the position. And the uproar is immediate. Because we didn't step in and the Cassandra or my god. And her response is immediate and vicious. For months... Chaos reigns. Wow. And she is victorious, but not without much bitterness and loss of life. Oh dear. The surprise of many, she reinstates the circle of Magi and creates a Templar order firmly leashed to her hand. Mages rise quickly in the new circle, having more freedom and responsibility than ever before, even if all true power lies with her. Interesting. Even so, this new divine's reign is troubled. And signs of fracturing within the Chantry grow daily. Many believe... Oh dear. It's days Maybe Cassandra or Lel would have been uh, a better option. I never wrapped that up, did I? Never mind. The Inquisition's mages, <coughs> former rebels led by Grand Enchanter Fiona, are left with a choice. In the end, they elect to leave the Inquisition and refuse Vivian's demand that they join the reformed circle of Magi. Oh. However... This new mage rebellion does not last, as the divine brings down her fury upon them. Bloody Some hell. mages surrender, others return to the Inquisition. Either way, the new circle of magi stands triumphant. Damn. Um, What of the Inquisition itself? Its web of influence is felt in every hall. Through diplomacy and the trading of favors, 
It has gathered the power to shake kingdoms. I leave Skyhold now, knowing that power will continue to grow. The Inquisitor is a symbol to many, a leader of the changing world order. To others, she has become a target. They linger in the shadows, waiting for their day to come. Mm. When it does, the Inquisition shall stand ready. Okay, thank you uh, very much uh, for that uh, explanation there, Morrigan. You appreciate it? Oh, there we go. Credits. Uh, yeah, sorry to keep you waiting there, Fallen. Um, yes, I, I do like uh, Baldur's Gate, um, which I guess I feel that uh, the Dragon Age games are a direct spiritual successor to the, you know, this old uh, um, Dungeons and Dragons games. Um, so I only played a little bit of Baldur's Gate 1. I played a decent, a pretty decent chunk of Baldur's Gate 2, but I never actually completed it. Um, never played Neverwinter Nights. I played a lot of... The only one I played the most of was Icewind Dale. Um, I don't think I played Icewind Dale 2, though. Maybe I did. I can't remember. But, yeah, I played a bunch of them. I, I don't know. Um, even though it's been a very, very long time. Um... Yeah, I do, do definitely enjoy them. Right, okay, there we go. That's uh, that was Dragon Age Inquisition, there, folks. Took us uh, like, f oh, okay, I think I skip the credits. Took us like seventeen streams to get through it. That's exactly the same numbers of streams it took us to get through Origins, so it's not like too much of a big deal. Although arguably longer because we did do the DLC in Origins. We had a few DLCs to do, and this we do not have the DLC. So, I don't, if there is DLC, I assume there's DLC. I, just, I don't have it. Um, so, yeah, thank you all for being here. Thank you, Seastar. I enjoyed it greatly. I I, I don't... I, f I feel overall, by we're talking tiny amounts of degrees, I feel overall that Inquisition is the best of the trilogy in terms of a game. I knew oh, Flemeth. What are you up to? You should not have given your orb to Corypheus, Red Wolf. I what? was too weak to unlock it after my slumber. What? The failure was mine. I should pay the price. But the people, they need me. Solas is an old elven sorry, god, Aswan. the dread wolf. Old friend. And. Oh. And he's eating Flemeth. Nathal. Either way. Oh, did he just literally just kill Flemeth? Solas, you're a bad guy. So it's literally that orb was Solus's. And the only reason any of this kicked off is because he accidentally gave it to Corypheus. Dun dun dun! Solus, you scumbag. I knew you were sus. You silly egg. Silly clown. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think I vaguely remember that. I just didn't remember the details. Okay. So be it. And that's why he turned up out of nowhere in his elven guise. Speaking this, speaking that. There we go. I think that maybe the first time I played the game, I first played it, I actually used Solus a lot, and I think the reason was just because he is one of your first characters. And you're just kind of stuck with him. Um, okay, that is that I think that's everything. Of course, the uh, the game allows you to uh, continue to do stuff, but oh, we've even leveled up. Not that it matters, but let 
Yeah, level 24 ending the game. That's cool. Um, but yeah, 241 power. No use for it. Um, it, by tiny degrees, I can see that anybody would, um, if anyone was to say any of the three was their favourite or they felt it was the best game. I feel they're all different enough. Um, and I enjoy them. I, I, I feel if I had to choose, I did enjoy this. This is my favourite Inquisition, although arguably there's, its strength is um, the, op the open worldness. Not it's a true open world, but it is much closer than the first two games. Um, but that can also be uh, to its detriment as well when you like constantly, you know, so it is a bit of that. It has a bit of that Ubisoft vibe of, oh, here's a map. Go, go to all these markers on the map. Just tick these off of your s generic stuff to do. <laughs> Yeah, some people kind of like that game level of the uh, style of gameplay, which you know I can. I'm not against it. I, there's a certain satisfaction uh, to me of playing a game like that. Some people really don't like it though. So in that regard, it's probably the you know some people could be the weakest. I know, um, and there's been certain pe certain ones of our producers and fans, uh, fans, fans of the series, uh, regulars of the show who are. Who say that it's their least favourite of the trilogy. Uh, but thank you to Atheline for voting for all of the Dragon Age uh, games. She is the producer who kind of um, fast-tracked them to be covered on the channel. And I think this was her least, one of her least favourites. But, uh, you know, she still wanted it covered as it's a, uh, you know, a, a Dragon Age game. So thank you to uh, Af in particular. Thank you all for being here. Uh, we've still got, like, half an hour left of the stream. I'm just going to nip out for a minute quickly. That, those hydrations and coffees gone right through me uh and i guess we'll have a little chat about what we got coming up next before we don't got time to start anything we can take a vote we can take a vote on deciding what the very next game is because our next two games um uh do have an equal number of votes so we can play them in either order i don't know too much about them but we shall discuss in a moment i shall be back momentarily guys bear with Right. Thank you for your patience there, folks. Um Yeah, banished. Probably already headed out now. Thank you for the follow, my friend. I appreciate it. Good to uh, have you in and chat to you. And yeah, if you want any re anime recommendations, just get us on the conflux and uh, me and Red Mage or somebody else will um sort you out as needs be. Um yeah, so I guess we'll have a vote. So um we um I 
so the way uh it, the voting works for the producers of what we cover on the channel is um depending on what tier of producer they are a uh, assistant producer or executive um uh, they get a certain number of votes um and they can uh they also get a number of games they can add to my list um so to you know to you know give them their due um basically as long as i have access to a game um i'm willing to give it a go regardless what it is i can't promise that i will complete it i can't promise like how much time i'll give to it but i will give anything a go um so you know presuming i assuming i have access i can't i'm not in a position to just buy any old random game even if they're on sale you know what i'm saying that's but we do have a lot uh we I, you know i do have microsoft points saved up for uh to use on a, a month or three months blocks of uh xbox game pass which is a lot of games on there a lot of interesting games uh i think it's arguably the best gaming subscription service that is out there i think it my understanding makes playstations look a bit shoddy um that's you know that's no hate there it's just <laughs> you could definitely make an argument that the playstation do a lot better than xbox in other regards i also own practically almost every single physical release of uh an xbox, xbox 360 games now i know by today's standards they're a bit you know a bit on the old side so not of interest to some people but we play retro which is before that time uh, i also have a retro pie that has pretty much every retro video game you can think of including arcade machines and all sorts of other random crazy wildness um pretty much from uh ps1 dreamcast era backwards also has like ds games so uh no no ps2 on there no uh no uh, gamecube or anything after that but like n64 ps1 dreamcast and everything everything before that we have access to uh also i have several kind of various pc games here and there um and uh you know various uh xbox one retail games knocking around uh and also um anything that happens to be free to play on pc there's a lot of free to play games around nowadays that some not all of them are terrible so there's a lot of access but if one of our producers wants a very specific game they're like oh it's i'd love you to see this covered on the channel and i don't have access to it i'm like well so, sorry guys you can't really vote for it because i don't have that game i'm not in a position to just buy a game however some people are very generous and will be like here you go i'm going to buy you a game and whether it's a game that like metapod bought a couple of uh the saga games for a couple of weeks ago and he's like here you go is i'm gifting these to you bless you thank you metapod and they are games that i specifically want to cover i specifically want to cover so they immediately get added to the list ready to be voted for um but even to the point where even if it's a game that i specifically it's not on my list i've been gifted a few games recently uh and they've been added to the list by producers um uh and uh have been immediately voted on and that's what we've got coming up next um hello kitty revenge and violence is that an actual game uh scotty if it is uh and i have access to it you can certainly add it to the list um Although you you currently do not have any votes or additions yourself, Scotty, so you would have to wait a little while. <laughs> I, I, I yeah yeah I'm sure there's Hello Kitty games out there, but we can do anything you want. Um, uh yeah no of course Red Mage. I, I don't think you should. I'm not saying you should or you shouldn't. It's up to you guys what you want to do. Just know that how this just be aware of how the system works. Like for example, like Metapod gifted me those games, but I can't. And I know he would be. Ex I'd be excited to play them, and he would be excited to see me play them. That's kind of why he gifted them. Uh, but I can't guarantee when they're going to get covered on the channel. So you know. But yeah, anybody, anybody can anybody can do anything. Red Mage. Just just um, I don't. I just don't want any buyer's remorse, so to speak. If somebody gifts a game, and it doesn't work within the confines of the producer's system. Now, um, 
the way it works is like i say we've got the tiers of the producers they get certain amounts of votes and additions to votes on the list and additions to the list adding the games that i haven't put there myself um and then i just as soon as we finish a game we start the next game that has the most number of votes equal number of votes i just choose uh we got two games coming up both have the equal number of votes um that were gifted to me and added to the list so i know nothing about them we'll talk about them in a sec um and i would just choose or i can throw it out as a you know a vote to you guys or the producers or whatever will come up the uh will determine some way of doing it sight of game he loves voting on things he likes getting other people to vote on his things for related to what he's doing i didn't slight awesome rock paper scissors that's all it's got, uh yeah kind of, kind of tricky to do rock paper scissors on your own though isn't it so like uh <laughs> need somebody else involved in that um in that uh thing there <laughs> uh janken yes got can't go wrong with it um um so that is the uh, yes so any so any i will happily take any contributions although i would say red mage i would say you know i, I would be i would feel very bad if someone donated a game and then it just wasn't necessarily added to the list like I say, if it's something that I have an invested interest in, I will add it myself. But if it's if it's not, then it just gets added on the access collection in in terms of it's not technically on the list until somebody puts it there, let alone getting voted for. So obviously I would hate it a situation to arise if someone were to like donate a game, gift a game to the channel, to me, to ownership to, to me, and then it just didn't get played ever or, you know, like for a long time or even ever that that person might feel bad about that they'd be like oh I, I bought is this game and he's never played it like i say as long as people are aware of how the system works and that the system is bound by rules and you know, there's no deviation from those to keep it fair to the producers um then in theory yes um 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 yeah i mean you know i mean it's up to you red mage do you know what i mean I don't necessarily have uh, uh, games to pl necessarily play off stream at the minute, but that might change uh, coming up in the near future. But um, we should see. So, yeah, Sea Star Horror Games. Uh, yes, the, I have several horror games on the list, and this is actually what we've, we're have going to be looking at. Now, this is just coincidence. Um, or it might not be, depending on, like, so basically uh, one of our producers gifted a couple of games immediately added had the votes and the additions to the list to immediately add them to the list and then immediately vote on them and that's that that's producer privilege right there um uh so whether that person did it because they were you know they were horror games for this time of year they are indeed horror games the two games we are looking at which i know nothing about and i wonder if any of you guys do have you seen them or played them we have a game called darkwood and a game called Visage, uh, or Visage, if you you know you could go for the pronunciation there. So uh, let me pull up a bit of information about either or either of them. Um, they're both definitely within the horror genre, though. I'll say that. Um, right, here we go. Visage, Wikipedia. Visage is a 2020 independent psychological horror game. Um, uh, developed and published by Sad Square Studios. Is, are they, they they tried to be friends with Square and <laughs> um, set in a strangely structured house with a somber history. Uh, players control Dwayne Anderson as he explores the backstories of the inhabitants that once lived there. The game is presented in first-person perspective, uh, and a large portion of the house is accessible, although some areas require keys. Obstacles includes avoiding the dark to reduce loss of sanity. Uh, though several tools can aid players through the dark. Ah, mainly inspired by the Silent Hills PT playable teaser, the game ran Kickstarter and Steam Greenlight campaigns. Uh, various horror video games were cited as inspirations, several of which also drew comparisons with Visage. Uh, it was later released uh, on for PC. Uh, on October 30th, uh, appropriately, uh, 2020 and 2021 on console platforms. 
the game saw praise for its psychological effectiveness, audio visual design, and atmospheric tension. Although it was criticized for its limited inventory, cumbersome gameplay, and bugs. Hmm. At release, I assume hopefully bugs have been ironed out of it. Um, so there you go. That's uh Yeah, I won't I guess I won't get into the plot. Um Uh because obviously I might have spoilers, but yeah, it seems so. It's it's gonna be like a first-person walking simulator um, in a in a house, but it's very horror-inspired. And I guess you nothing is as it seems, and you kind of have to piece together the puzzles of what has happened uh, and what is happening in the story. It sounds uh, fantastic. Um, Fallen, ah, you're familiar with Darkwood, are you? And Visage, have you played it slight? Um, you've got it racked up yourself for the end of the month. Ah. People in the community couldn't even finish it. So I'm not really a scaredy cat when it comes to horror. Um, I'm like, bring it on. I'm like, I like to dwell in the darkness, so to speak. Um, so I'm very intrigued by that. Uh, Darkwood. Let's look up at the details of Darkwood. Um... Here we go, let me pull this up. Darkwood is a top-down survival horror video game developed on Acid Wizard Studio. Uh, re released through Early Access on Steam uh, July 24th, 2014. So qu quite a bit old, relatively old, although I don't, I'm not someone who thinks of 2014 as being a long time ago. <laughs> Eventually becoming a full-fledged, uh, sorry, a full game release in uh, August 2017. Uh, the game takes place in a mysterious dark forest somewhere in the Polish People's Republic or, according to the developers, another region of the Soviet bloc. Okay. Uh, wherein the main characters have been trapped. Interesting. Uh, 2019, there's a Nintendo Switch version. Um, uh, it was ported to PS4 and Xbox One in 2019 as well. Uh, and, of course, it got uh, released on Stadia in 2021 uh i mean rest rest in peace stadia um interesting it's not giving us too much but it's um so it's not a walking simulator so it's top down so i guess it's like if anyone's ever played oh, what's that sh what's that shooty game from a couple of years ago i don't remember the name of it but if anyone's ever played original gta or gta 2 um you know what kind of the, the kind of the style is. I wonder if we could pull up some screenshots. Um, um, but rather than it being a first-person walking simulator where you put, put it, you know, trying to put together a narrative and it's like super scary, this is literally, you know, maybe it's got more of a traditional narrative. It's set in Poland. Uh, at some point in the past, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Um. People trapped in a mysterious dark forest. And it is definitely survival horror. That's what I mean. It says survival horror. So I assume you have to collect items, manage supplies, uh, manage your ammo, uh, you know, look after look out for and manage resources. All very appealing. How a top-down game would play. Um I'm not really too sure. Um Let's have a look. Um, we found some images. Oh, that looks interesting. Oh, okay, definitely. Yeah, it's definitely was interesting. Um, let me see if we can uh, we pull up Google here. There we go. Okay, that's not the... Uh, Best representation. So that's, I guess, in the, in the middle there, you've got uh, your little guy you're playing as looking down at the top of his head. And obviously he's got his flashlight and his, uh, see the light surrounding him and uh, he can obviously see all the different houses and rooms to go in. It looks creepy as all hell. Um, yeah, oh, that's not a very good picture there. There we go. Yeah, so you've got your items and health and stuff 
on the, on the left there. Yeah, it seems, int seems intriguing. It seems like it might be quite like RPG-like. Even. Hunting around for stuff. Okay, I should try and actually click on some of these decent uh, cutscenes here. But anyway, yeah, that's uh, dark, dark wood. And uh, as uh, Fallen has said, it's uh, also excellent. Um, intrigued by that and uh, pull up Visage. Uh, yeah, okay, I was walking around with a hammer there. That's, uh, we've got to look, the graphics are excellent, aren't they? I mean, that. That's straight out of PT. That's the same house, isn't it? <laughs> if anyone's ever uh, ever played uh, PT at all, but yeah, looks looks very good. Looks creepy as all bloody hell. So two very different uh, vibes of uh, horror games we've got, guys. Uh, but but very str very strictly horror. Yeah, like I mean, do you, do you really want to walk into that room there? I don't. Yeah, Squidge. So sorry, Squidge. <laughs> Squidge, uh, this is what we've got coming up, Squidge. So I don't know if you'd be able to handle either or of these. Um, yeah, bootleg PT. It definitely looks like Visage might be the more scary, like, horror. Like, oh my god! Walk into a room and I'll be like, ah! Um, whereas it, it seems like Darkwood's more of a game with, like, just a horror setting. Um, but who knows? It might be really awful and brutal. I don't know. Um, either way, um, you'll be ghost lurking. Well, thank you for the ghost lurk, Squidge. I imagine that they're both relatively short games. Uh, but yes. Um, yeah, and I, like I, said, I don't know whether our producer chose these for the sake of the spooky season. So I wasn't planning to do anything spooky. Um, necessarily, but here we are. Um, so, uh, yeah, so they both look very interesting to me. Uh... Ah, uh, oh, oh, you actually, oh, Fallen, you actually have a base building mechanics and survive the night. Yes, yeah, so you head out during the day, try, get some resources and then sort yourself out to survive the evening. That sounds excellent. Uh... <laughs> Ghost of Shima, is that right, Red Mage? <laughs> uh... But, um, interesting. Um... So guys, they've both got equal number of votes. We'll be playing one, and then we'll be playing the other. Now, there are some producers who are sitting on votes. Um, that's up to them. If they want to cash those in, they can cash those in. That could uh, move things around a little bit. So guys, we'll do a little vote. Um, it doesn't really matter because we'll do one and then the other. Um, but which would you like to see first, literally starting tomorrow? Um, so if you're going to be around, uh, make your, uh, make your choices, you know what I mean? Or, or if you're not going to be around, make your choice, depending, you know, um, I'll just run it for a minute. You can put channel points in if you feel strongly. 60 seconds, go. We'll go with whatever has the most there. Uh, doesn't matter to me specifically. I'm, I'm intrigued and excited to try out both. Uh, again, because I don't know them, I can't necessarily commit to completing them. But I imagine they're both very completable and vo both relatively short compared to what we have done recently. Um, so, uh, yeah, we also have a third game that has less votes. That, as I said, alluded to earlier, that game, I believe I have to... I'm going to have to cash in some points to get Game Pass um, to play that. And it kind of... Uh, does um it makes more it's you get more time for your points if you do a three month block than a, a one month block so i'm inclined to do that i don't have enough points to do either um so we might after that double down if yeah if we have no votes for any games from the producers for the rest of this month or whatever i don't know um there you go we've got a vote for darkwood thank you very much that was what we will start tomorrow uh, followed up by a visage. Um, excellent. I guess I'll probably need to make a scene for it or something. Yeah, I'll probably check that out tonight. I'll get it set up tonight. Um, and then we'll be, uh, we'll take it from there. Um, 
but yeah thank you uh all for being here uh and uh sticking with the the isnip show i do appreciate it um god, god today has flown by absolutely flown by oh yeah of course uh don't forget guys uh my very first my very first i said that <laughs> uh starting the ho my hosting of the red dwarf watch party on sunday i think it's going to be 6 p.m my time to the roughly about eight i'll put all the details in the uh in the watch party organization channel um uh soon uh tonight hopefully if i remember in fact let me go and uh change these details now um there we go dark one uh okay that's all good i'm gonna change this to um Ah, I want a first playthrough. Uh, there we go. I'll do. Uh, um. Let's get rid of that, and then we'll uh. done excellent uh yeah so i guess um we'll wrap up today um i guess this is the only thing left for us to do is to raid somebody so let me see who's around but yeah i uh i very much enjoyed uh playing um Uh, through uh... Uh... that's cool playing through uh dragon age inquisition i do appreciate it um no thank you thank you fallen thank you for stopping in buddy it was uh it was lovely to see your stream the other day um thank you to balthier for uh pointing me in your direction i'll be sure to keep an eye out in the future my friend if you ever need anything as a fellow streamer just uh just let me know fallen i'll, I'll do what i can um probably can't do much but <laughs> you know what i'm saying you know what I'm saying? Right. Who to raid? A few decent choices there. Uh, so Lee is streaming there. However, Lee is playing Parasite Eve 2. Now, as we have played Parasite Eve 1 ourselves recently on this channel, I'm inclined to uh, not uh, um, go and raid Lee quite at the minute just because, um, I, you know, I don't want spoilers for myself, let alone you guys. Uh, so, um, hmm. Could, so, we could raid... Um, I uh, saw spin dash there. We raided him last week. We possibly give him another raid, but um, we'll leave him for today. So there's Kimchi doing some random artwork. An incredible pixel artist is Kimchi. Uh, oh, there's Ilfinity and some inscription, which is uh, a pretty freaking cool game. Um, decisions, eh? I guess let's go see Kimchi, see what he's up to. Get our cell, probably. There he is. Yeah, he's an absolute, if you don't know Kimchi, he's an absolute gem. He's actually uh, he's a very lovely gentleman. Um, and he's like an incredible artist. Like I said, I don't know what he's doing on his channel at the minute, but 
please do not um i will uh be back tomorrow we will start darkwood don't have no idea really what to expect we've got a rough idea haven't we but who knows i'm looking forward to it um hopefully you can play it with controller I'm, i bet you'll be able to i hope you'll be able to I'll have controller support uh and then we'll take it from there thank you for all the support guys thank you again banish mage for the uh follow um gorilla penis uh darkwood um right okay i'll see <laughs> uh <laughs> <Come on. laughs> sorry um but yes uh let's go see kimchi if anybody needs me before tomorrow just uh sling me uh a message on um on uh on discord uh i will uh i'll see you soon folks i'll hope tomorrow hopefully i'm excited thank you for hanging out i'll see you soon